Hey everybody, it is the Brink of Sanity Show, episode 168, and we got a full house today. Uh, Lauren, how you doing? Good. And Glad got, to be here. Excellent. We got the doc. Hey guys. And we got Mark. I ate a lot. <laughs> I'm tired. Mark is actually in the, uh, what do you want to call it, studio? Fine. Uh, Mark is actually in the studio. Not Jay calls step. his the second bedroom in his apartment a studio. Wait, Mark actually exists? I thought he was just a fictional character. It's just a voice on the other end. <laughs> Jay was doing a voice on the Knicks podcast. The Knicks are playing well tonight. Yeah, they are, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've met Mark many times before, I still thought he was a fictional character. <laughs> so we got a lot of stuff going on tonight, um, which I guess we should, considering we haven't done an episode in five weeks. Uh, but now we're doing an episode, so quit your bitching. <laughs> uh, yes, you, both both people are downloading or waiting for the new episode. Stop Please. complaining. <laughs> um, we could curse in this show. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't in our other podcast, so it's uh, it's it's. That's fun. the podcast we we are devoted to into twice a week. Wait, why can't you in your other podcast? Because <laughs> Jay wanted to make the show no. not explicit because he thought it's, just, get, it's it, a self imposed rule. Yeah, because that way, like parents would say, "Don't download that Nick's podcast. It's bad for you." Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I wanted to make it more marketable, and uh, we do get ten times as many listeners, so maybe there's something to <laughs> yeah. it. It's like a hundred times, actually. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so we have some news stories and uh, other other things. Uh, I want to start off with um, the new the newest movie coming out, which is going to be a blockbuster that everyone wants to see. The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, nice. di- directed by Michael Bay, the greatest director of all time. Michael Bay, who did The Rock. Blowing shit up. He also, yeah, blowing shit up and running away in slow motion. (laughs) Bay. So he's uh, doing Ninja Turtles movie, but he decided to um, make a few changes. Do you know Michael Bay actually designed the war in Afghanistan? Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's just like, he's like, okay, here's the bomb, gonna go down, and... They choreographed everything for us. <laughs> is that why it seems like it goes on forever? And uh... Yeah, the whole war is in slow motion. <laughs> so instead of uh, teenagers, they're senior citizens? And... Well, yeah, he decided in a uh, Teenage oh, yeah, Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles movie. The Ninja Turtles are aliens? <laughs> yes, they're going to be aliens, which makes them not turtles or mutants. Because them being mutant Ninja Turtles, not a, bi- not a believable story. Right. It's a reboot. you got to have a new origin. He's also um, making them 20-something, so they're not teenage. They actually got rid of Splinter, and Alf is now the leader. And so I don't know if they're actually going to be ninjas, but that's yeah, the only no, thing there's left. There's no Splinter. They just um, The enemy is osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the thing is? It's like they do these reboots where they change everything about it. They're not even like turtles. They're kangaroos. Like it's just something completely. They just want to use the Ninja Turtle name, basically. I don't know why he bothered. I mean, if if everything in the title is not in the movie, you're just wasting people's money because plus, it's an alien movie. Plus, yeah. Does, does anyone like anyone who's like younger like st- even remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Like everyone. Of course who they used, do. Everyone who used to watch it is like thirty five now. That's true. <laughs> yeah. It's like that toy with Jump Street. They were like, oh, we have a funny comedy about these guys go undercover. We're going to call it Undercover Cops. Hey, why don't we call it 21 Jump Street and have like the five people that still remember that show <laughs> come to the movie? Yeah, yeah. That's, I heard it had nothing to I never watched the show, but I heard it had nothing to do with the I show. I heard it was really funny, though, so maybe yeah, there's something to it. But it, it's like they just take they take a movie that has nothing to do with the original and, and they just call it that. Like, so I, I bet the, uh, the new Ninja Turtle movie is actually like a period piece about the Holocaust. And they're calling it Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Perhaps. We'll see. Is anyone going to go see it still? No, I'm not seeing no. it. I'm yeah. not seeing that and I'm not seeing the new Spider-Man movie either. I will see the new Spider-Man movie. I will see the new Spider-Man because Andrew Jay's Garfield's hot. Um, spoiler alert, he gets bit by a radioactive spider and gets spider powers. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, we had to see that again because that wasn't clear the first time. I, why do we have to keep seeing Spoiler that? alert. <laughs> don't <laughs> listen. Don't listen. Uh, they're also... Actually, uh, Michael we're just, Bay... We're just actually, ruining movies now. He rewrote the new Spider-Man and he's all, Spider-Man's also an alien. <laughs> he's gonna, that's he's that's gonna Michael get, Bay's answer for everything. Yeah. Oh, he's an alien. <laughs> He's going to get bit by an aardvark and have radioactive aardvark power. <laughs> what well, are aardvark they're like, power? They're like, they're like, I, have no idea. I don't <laughs> even know what aardvarks do. Do they eat bugs? I have no idea. Michael Bay, you're doing the new Superman. You know, Superman's an alien, so this will make it easy for you. Oh, Superman gets bit by a radioactive spider. No, Superman's a turtle. Aardvarks just sort of like, uh, don't mess with me, I'm an aardvark. You don't know what I can do. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? I really don't. They got that protective shell, like... So Do basically, they? yeah. Wait, aardvarks have shells? Aren't they the ones with like, the shell? That's armadillos. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> they don't have a shell. They roll into then a wall. I, I have totally named my pet wrong. No, that's armadillo. <laughs> oh, no, armadillos. That's Wait. a hedgehog. <laughs> Hedgehogs roll into a wall. Radioactive hedgehog. We need one of those books for kids. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is what it looks what like. What the hell do aardvarks do? A I is for aardvark. I, I don't think they do any of those things. <laughs> we're going to go home and get one of my baby's books. So I'll look it up. Is an aardvark a beaver? It could be. I don't think so. There's like 18 animals that like are pretty much okay. a beaver. Here's my problem with the aardvark. Um, it's A-A aardvark. Like spelling. Mm-hmm. And it's just like... Oh, oh, you, um, we're going to make this animal so it always goes first in class. Like, I don't understand how you have two A's in a row. There's, like, no other words in the English language that have two A's. That and Henry, Henry Aaron. <laughs> yeah, no, that, those are Aaron, names, but, like, yeah. actual English words. Yeah, like, why do you need, like, this This doesn't sound good with one A. <laughs> Plus, nobody even knows what you do, so you're kind of a waste of an animal. How did that even come up? Who said aardvark? And why? <laughs> I did. Aardvark, Michael Bay... <laughs> Michael Bay's new turtle movie yeah. is about alien aardvarks who fight so, Splinter. So, senior citizen mutant ninja aardvarks. Just because there is going, they're aliens, does that mean we're going to get to see Krang? Krang technically is from a different dimension. Do you even remember Krang? Is he the bad guy? Yeah, he was the pink guy who lived in the stomach of like a robot human. <gasps> oh, right. Oh, yeah. I remember beating him in the Nintendo version. Yes. Nice. Yes. The awesome arcade game where he was, you had to go into the Technodrome. That was one of, that was a really good game. That was. If there's no techno drum, if there's a techno drum, I don't know. You might see it. I might see Go it. Go to a matinee for six dollars. Yes. Is it true the new American Reunion movie, the new American Pie movie, is about the uh, the Renaissance period? It could be. <laughs> it's, it's a reboot. It's like it's like in case you were wondering what the American Pie gang was up to. No, I wasn't. I really wasn't. I, I actually didn't care at all. I think my dad wants to see that movie, but he sees every movie. It doesn't matter what it is. Really? You know the best part of the American. Did he see all the original ones? Yeah. Yeah, I guess he sees every movie. He so. sees every movie. <laughs> you know, Is that every movie? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a movie. You know the best part about the making American Reunion? Half the cast, completely free to do the movie. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, how did they nail down Tara Reid? She's been so busy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the, the only one is the girl from How I Met Your Mother that actually does stuff. Yeah, well, no, and the other guy, uh, the one that plays Stifler. Has yeah, yeah, he's been in some movies. Yeah, but not recently. Yeah, he's been kind of taking a break. It's been a while. Everyone Tara Reid every day is like, I guess it's the American Reunion? Yeah. No, I'm going to drink today then. <laughs> well, there's, well yeah. there's not many roles that like you could play Stifler in. I mean, after a while, like people get sick of... Well, <laughs> you know. wasn't he in like... He was really good at role models. Role models yeah, that was, that was a good movie. movie. With Dude, where's my car? Yeah, all that shit. It's the same character. Yeah, Dude, where's Stifler. my car, by the way? That mm-hmm. movie, which was out like 10 years ago... At some point, they go with, like, aliens are, like, the answer. I think Michael Bay must have made that movie. Yeah, th- that's not even a joke. It was. Yeah, I, I don't think I made it through the whole movie. I it, think I saw, like, half of it. It was supposed to be, like, The Hangover, where they black out and they try and find their car. And then there was aliens all of a sudden. And I was like, okay, was, time to I was in stuff. college, and one of my friends was like, like, a bunch of us, we should all go get stoned and go see that movie. Sounds like a decent idea. <laughs> and we're all like, what the fuck's going on now? <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, what was in this weed? <laughs> He's like, dude, where's my car? Oh, look, there, there are aliens. What the fuck happened to the movie? <laughs> yeah, dude, who slipped LSD into my weed? <laughs> yeah, so I'm. I don't think I'm gonna be watching American Reunion. Um, I'd like cross. But then you won't know what they're up to. I know what Tara Reid is up to, <laughs> making her boobs look weird. You know what I would see totally? You do the American Pie movie, the exact same like scene for scene, dialogue, everything, but the put the Ninja Turtles in the role of the regular cast. Yeah, combine two, be, yeah, combine two movies into one. You you have the production class. I would love to see like Splinter do the like fuck the pie. <laughs> <laughs> that would totally be Michelangelo. <laughs> Stifler um, would which, definitely. Which which turtle would play Stifler? Raphael. Okay, yeah, I can see That's that. That's true. Yeah. And who's so that? Raphael's mom? <laughs> Raphael. Oh, that would be April O'Neil. <laughs> <laughs> I know too much Does about she the have, turtles. Like, red hair. Yeah, and that yellow park. Yeah, yeah, immediately, immediately, this is such a better movie. Michael <laughs> Bay, call me. <laughs> yeah, we can make this work. Splinter would be the uh, the dad that has the awkward moments with the son. Oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. There you go. Perfect. That actually sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that actually sounds like well, a well, really son, good movie. I want to talk to you about sex. You're a rat! I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> You're a giant rat. What the hell? Why do you? What are we doing doing this podcast? We just make movies. <laughs> Shit, Rick would be Krang. <laughs> Screenwriting stat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, please do not look at my stomach. Hey, there might be a pink alien. Don't, in don't there. steal our ideas. We have to. We have 
to lose their virginity before we turn 20. Why? Because turtles don't live that much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Especially radioactive ones. My hair is already falling out. You better copyright this shit before <laughs> someone steals it. We all have cancer. <laughs> Mutagen's actually really unhealthy. Who would have thought? You ever see that, that was like that, there was a uh, episode of Family Guy where uh, they uh, it was like a superhero thing and all the pa- the family got like the superpowers. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And so the mayor goes like rise lies around in a in like nuclear waste and the doctor's like, "You have lymphoma. Why would you? Why, why would you?" Do that? Oh, I remember that. that was well, I thought I get superpowers. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, back when that show was funny. That show used to be so. That, that Family Guy had a couple seasons that were like the up first, there with anything The Simpsons did. The first yeah. season was like the best thing I've ever seen on TV. Like it was so awesome. They had the they had basically the run of The Simpsons in about a third of the time. Where they the Simpsons had like Simpsons Simpsons has more funnier episodes. It's, it's like more yeah, super the, funny episodes than uh, well, they had yeah, more yeah. seasons where they were in the funny range. Yeah, they had a nice like seven year range where they were. I like, think that awesome. that that time where they got you know got canceled like really hurt them because they they would have had like three more good seasons. Yeah, yeah. When I they agree. came back, they were, were they weren't the same. They're like, oh, we took three years off, and uh, sorry, we just wrote dick and fart jokes. <laughs> you know what show is also underrated? And we made Stewie gay. Yeah. yeah, you know what's underrated of the cartoon shows? Uh, the Critic. Did you guys oh, watch the Critic? Yeah, that was a good oh, yeah. show. That was a really funny well, show. It show. had like two seasons, but it was freaking hilarious. They actually got canceled, moved to Fox, and the second season was like eight times as funny, and then it got canceled. Yeah. John Lovitz in his best role. They did that with Andy Richter's show, too. He got Was the can- show good? Well, it I was bad. It got canceled. They brought it back, and it was really funny. Yeah, they like, the retooled second time it, it was really funny. and then it got canceled again. What was that show called? Andy Richter Controls the Universe. Oh. Yeah, they, they like rebooted the whole thing, like got a whole bunch of new like sidekick members and like the show was really funny and then they got canceled. Well, it's hard to make a show that like it's... You actually you know what show actually sucked at first and became really funny? Seinfeld. If you watch like the first season, yeah. the first couple of episodes are just kind of lame and not that funny and like mm-hmm. you're like... I mean, they probably didn't give him full creative, creative, creative control at first and all. And it was like, 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 oh, it's not so great. And I remember like apparently the show, like I remember the show like it was like struggling at first mm-hmm. and then like suddenly came back and it was like well that's, that's the thing they don't give any shows any chances and I know a lot of shows are crap but like some shows you have to be like just patient like give it a season or two to, like, yeah because if it all. was today Seinfeld would have been and canceled and the other thing is you're depending on viewers and like mm-hmm. people don't know what's good sometimes shows are good and people just don't watch because they don't know about it you know if you, like, if you watch Louis C.K. Uh, uh, show Louis on FX I heard that I've, was I've funny. Heard about it's it it's really funny um, and this, I guess the, the story with that show is basically he's had problems with the networks before Basically, they pay him, and they're not allowed to see it till basically it airs. That's like, awesome. That's, he's, he's like, he's like, you pay me, stay the fuck away from me, don't talk to me, and I'll give you a show. And that's why it's actually pretty good. Well, that's what South Park does. They actually don't start writing until the Thursday before it airs. I don't. How, wait, how do you how do you animate it that fast? It's all computer animated, so they they're able to. Yeah, use you know, the same animation. I mean, have you seen South Park? I mean, it's not like that complicated to animate. I, I guess I assume, I mean, it's I, just I, like, I assume the animation took a it's while. Like, it's like moving heads. I, I honestly, I don't understand computer animation, and I don't know how you can do it that quick, but yeah, apparently but, but, they could do it in one day. But I think day. South Park, I mean, you know, we, we've seen South Park. I mean, they don't really do a whole lot no, of the animation. True. Yeah, but still, I mean, there's different backgrounds. Yeah. It's not like Space was, Ghost where they're using the same animation. I was amazed when they had like uh, the episode right after Obama won the election. They had like a whole episode about like Obama winning the election. Mm-hmm. And I was like, how did they do that so fast? But I guess like, that's, win, they do all their yeah. shows like that. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. But they said they handed in that Wednesday morning, so Comedy Central doesn't have enough time to like edit stuff out that they don't like. <laughs> Which is, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a good idea. Well, that's what the Comedy Central when they gave. Uh, remember the Chappelle show? Mm-hmm. It was amazing. They gave him fifty million dollars and said you have no more creative control, and he lost his mind and left and like went to Africa. Yeah, yeah. That that's, show was really funny too. Yeah, that the was, first, the beginning of it was really. That was one of the best sketch shows ever. What about that? I think like a sketch shows of all time. It was pretty good. SNL had like has like has some periods of time where it was amazing or like pretty yeah. damn good. They had some really and then it's not, I don't know. it's not recently. Not recently, but I mean there was yeah not like the last like I don't even know if they did. SNL had some really if you look at some of the older episodes they were very funny. I think if you look at clips of older episodes, they, I think if you actually watch the hour and a half episode, there would be like two really good clips. Yeah. And then, like, a bunch of shit. A band you've never heard of anymore, and uh, then a bunch of shit. Yeah. yeah, like, 15 years from now, people are going to look back and be like, oh, the season from 2012 was so funny. No, Because the, the two funny clips per episode are going to yeah. make it. And They like, don't have two funny clips a season now. They, they, do. they still have funny clips. They don't. The last time they did something funny was the Sarah Palin thing in the election. That was... A, 
I haven't really watched it recently. I mean, once in a while I try watching it, and like uh, my, I can't. I turned off my eyes, stop bleeding, start bleeding. Yeah, I, I mean, like yeah. I don't know. I, I never last. It's like a list of stuff minutes. I stopped watching, like The Simpsons, Saturday Night Live. There's you know, no there's like the whole there's no show. Guy. There's no show with skits that like uh, are is like is 100 percent like good all the time. But I think that show, um, at the Chappelle show, and in Living Color, are the three best. Maybe Living we should Color do was... a top five sketch comedy shows. That's that's the point. entire list, though. There's no there's no more. Yes, there is. Oh, the, st- the state. The that's state. The there's kids, uh, kids in the hall. Kids in the kids hall. In the hall. Yeah, yeah, fair, really fair. Monty Python. Um... Fine, just say I'm completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, actually, there's a lot more yeah. than idiot. <laughs> All right, so uh, what about Mad TV? Mad TV. I always thought yeah, Mad TV so was better. I was, I was correct about Mad TV. That, that was, that's not that good. No, well, Mad TV was better. The beginning than of Mad TV was awesome. I've only yeah. watched the first like season or two, and that wasn't that good. No, well, it, it got much better. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, it might have taken a season or two to get good, but like there yeah. was once they got Will Sasso. That I think show it was, was bad at the awesome. beginning and the end, but in the middle it was really good. Yeah, Ben, ben Stiller's show was kind of decent. It's Friday show. Do you ever remember that one? Yeah, know. yeah, that's mm-hmm. uh, Janine Garofalo, Andy Dick. Uh, there were a couple like it was like hit very hit or miss. Yeah. And then uh, vacant lot was one of my favorites, but nobody knows that. Okay, one. so what's the what's the, uh, the th- what's your three best? I say the three best are SNL, in Living Color, and Chappelle Show. In no order. Why do you do these lists and not put them in order? I don't. Oh, fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jay's is such a problem. With Jay's just, I Jay's, want an order because it's so important. No, Jay's just buying time. He's thinking of his own. List. No, I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> Jay's like, oh, I don't know. I think it's like, I think it's a cop the out. The vacant lot, that show that no one's ever heard of, is the best show ever. It's I made a, it up in my head. It's a cop out. It's okay. It's like, so fine. The greatest ones that I think Living Color number one, Chappelle Show two, SNL three. How's that? Um, that's okay. Just say your list. You have no idea. You have nothing <laughs> to say. You don't remember what you even said with the other. No, I mean. The problem with all these sketch comedy they shows have good, is they have good and bad. There's it's a like, lot of shit, and then there's like a few really well, good. I'm not clips. talking about the greatest comedy ever. I'm just talking about sketch comedy. Sketch comedy inherently is like mediocre, yeah. like funny sometimes and not funny. You're looking for the one that has more hits than misses. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Monty Python has a lot of shit, but they have like the most classic yeah, skits of all like time as well. So I don't know how to rated. rate that because they do have like. Well, you know what you do? You get, you get some balls and make a list. Come on, do it, Jack. Oh, Fine. Shit. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, fine. I'm going to go um, Monty Python, Kids in the Hall, and In Living Color. In that order. One through three. Not okay. Three, two, well, there you go. See? Do you guys want to go? or? I don't watch that many. I did watch In Living Color, which would definitely be on the list. Mm-hmm. I don't watch that much SNL. I started re- watching it kind of recently, but I didn't watch any of the older stuff that people say, oh, so funny. I, I, I didn't watch it. Mm-hmm. So, and I do, I well, do it, love me some Chappelle show. Like the first, was like two seasons. Yeah. If you wonder what the old uh, SNL is, imagine watching the new SNL, but they had jokes in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good acting. Know, someone was, it, someone is, was it actually in charge of making it funny. They had a news segment that was actually really funny as opposed to they um, actually, they really actually, bad. They actually <laughs> fired the guy that was supposed to make sure it was funny. And that's why it hasn't been funny. Who was the guy that was supposed to make sure? I don't know. Right? <laughs> Lauren just... Michaels? Or... <laughs> it's still I used to think the news, the news <laughs> segment, they used to have... Uh, I thought Dennis Miller was hilarious when he was hosting it. Top five Saturday Night Live news anchors. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Dennis That's Miller. That's actually a good one. Um, Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald, <laughs> who's awesome. Yeah, he was And awesome. then uh, Kevin Nealon. And everyone else was awful. No, you got to throw in Chevy, Chevy Chase. Chase. Yes, yep. Chevy Chase, yes. Uh, um, but he was on, only on the show for one season. And then anybody who's ever done it, and then Colin Quinn. Colin Quinn. <laughs> Colin Quinn is called a comedian's comedian because only actual comedians get any of his jokes. Who's that not funny black guy? Uh, the the like. Oh, Keenan. Yeah, didn't he do it? No, no, he didn't no, do it. No, no. Wait, Keenan Ivory Wayne's? No, oh. Keenan from Good oh, Burger, Good Bur- oh, the guy yeah. who smirks in every skit that he's yeah, ever he done do ever. Because I would have said he's like almost. If he did it, he would have been the worst at it. No, C- Colin Quinn. Like he actually, the problem with Colin Quinn. Is he actually has like some funny material, but has the worst delivery of any comedian out? Yes, that's what it is. Because he, uh, I saw him at a comedy club pretty recently, and he has the same inflection on his setup as he does the punchline. So like he'll be on to the next joke, and you realize like, he already delivered the punchline, <laughs> and you think about it, and you're like, oh wow, that was actually really funny. But like the way he mumbled through it, like you didn't know that was the end of the joke. So like. So it actually, ruins a lot of the If there's a scientist yeah. out there who can do the Frankenstein thing, they should merge Colin Quinn and Pat Oswalt. Because Pat Oswalt has a fantastic delivery if you've seen his comedy. Mm-hmm. But every, no jokes. Every, every yeah, every joke, joke is terrible. Every yeah. joke ends without a laugh. 
Every yeah. joke you're like, <laughs> he has like this great like build up to the joke. You're like, oh good, that's funny. Oh my god, that's really, yeah, that's really interesting. What the fuck? There's no fucking there's no end of the joke. And, and like, is he that short guy? Yeah, short yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. And, like every joke is like he delivers them so well, and you want to laugh, and you're like, okay, come on, dude, try again, try again. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you're delivering so good, try again, and you never laugh the entire show. Yeah, I, I sit through a set and I'm like smiling because I'm like, all right, this is gonna be awesome. And, <laughs> so Colin Quinn uh, can write uh, jokes for Pat Oswald that would work really well. Yeah. Pat's actually, like, you know what, Colin, I have an idea for a joke. Shut the fuck up, we do my jokes. Yeah, <laughs> I actually didn't mind uh, the uh, Tina Fey and Jimmy Fallon combo. I thought it was all right. They were right. Uh, they weren't. They were bad. Uh, they were. I wouldn't say they were bad. I think they were. I don't bad. think they were bad. I don't think they're as good as the four. I think they were no, bad. they're not. They're not. I, no. I actually think they were bad. I think okay. the news was unwatchable. All right. I, I don't. Agree. I know. I mean, yeah. you're right. You're, you're, you 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 have a valid opinion, yeah. but I'm going to say your. But it's wrong. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Who was the guy before those two? Uh, who did it with Amy Poehler? Um, oh, the, Seth Meyers. He. I put him as like fifth. I think. Really? Seth Meyers, he does the weekend update. Yes. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put him as I like, like fifth. Seth Meyers I don't really I like, like Seth Meyers. He's all right. I mean, I... okay, I'll put Craig Kilborn fifth. I know it's a totally different show, but come on, <laughs> it's the exact same fact concept. I think I'm the only one on the planet who thought the Daily Show was better with Craig Kilborn as You are, but you know what? They should actually. Everyone loves John Stewart. I don't... I like Kilborn John's... was better. Uh, here's yeah. the thing. I don't know why they don't, don't they have the Daily Show too and just have the Craig Kilborn version also because it's a totally different show than what John Stewart does. Yeah. Yeah. When Kilborn was on the show, they had uh, 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 Stephen Colbert, and like the new guy was um, what's his face from The Office, who used to be in The Office. Oh, um, Steve Carell. He he was like the new guy. And yeah. That's when the show I thought was really good. It was it was funny or funny then also, but like so Craig Kilborn used to just do like the odd stories, and it was really funny. Then John Stewart being made political, yeah, just have two different shows because Craig Kilborn's version was very funny also. Well, Craig Kilborn also had a, a deadpan delivery, whereas. Um, John Stewart really tends to do more of the Keenan yeah. delivery where he's like smirking the whole time and it just annoys me. <laughs> I think it's really funny. It's all right. right. I just don't like his delivery. So, like, top five uh-huh. hosts of the Daily Show. I'm going to say <laughs> John Stewart. Two. This list is probably going to end at two. <laughs> I'm going to say number two, just barely Craig Kilborn. <laughs> number three, I guess John Stewart will die one day. And gonna... <laughs> Future hosts. We can do top five hosts of The Soup. Because it used to be Talk Soup. And there was a bunch of... Yeah, I don't uh, know all of them. Top five actors. How many are there? Top John five... Hanson, Hal Sparks. Uh, I watched that show too much. Top five actors on the wrong, Young and the Restless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that dude that can't act and... The guy that takes his shirt off? Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh... Top four American Pie movies. Okay, so there's, yeah, there's eight Pie of them. Because four of them went straight to DVD. Well, those are like uh, American even, Pie, yeah, they don't, they're, colon. It's a totally different cast, right? Well, it has yeah. the dad and like every one of them. Oh, the dad apparently like, no, 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 just sign me up. I'll do whatever you guys do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love paychecks. I, he has like I, a, I know how to milk this cow. He has, like a, he has like a 38 movie contract he signed. Yeah, did you guys ever like, you know, look at the list? There really is like an insane amount of Actually, the, dad the first one was hilarious. I think. Yeah, but I haven't seen any of the straight to DVD ones, but there's a lot. And they're all like Stifler's little brother, like in, I heard in his like terrible. frat house. I mean, yeah. but actually, the, so they told the dad, the guy who plays the dad, they were like, we're doing these ones straight to video, and he, straight to DVD. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll go to the video store and sell them for you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm in them. That sounds good even better. <laughs> the, the money still gets direct deposited into my account, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll still do yeah. it. Yeah, they uh, just buy me a handle of something. <laughs> I, I, how does he end up in in like a college frat house? How does that work into the plot? Oh, like like you're gonna really review the plots and go, oh, that's not make any sense. <laughs> Wait a second, I don't understand. They're aliens, but they're turtles. <laughs> that that's like the uh, National Lampoon. There's about forty of those now. Yeah, it's okay. Top five National Lampoon. <laughs> okay, what I have a question. Top five movies that should here's, stop. Okay. Top five earnest movies. Okay, there are th- only three National Lampoon that anyone give a crap Top about. Top five movies that should Which, make, stop making new movies. What do you put the order for the, the Chevy Chase National Lampoon movies? What do you think? Christmas what? Vacation, Vacation, uh, European Vacation. See, I, 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 I agree with you, actually. I was going to say, I, I think a lot of people don't say the Christmas Vacation is the best one. I think it was the best one. A lot of people think uh, the first Vacation is the best one. But I haven't it, watched that But so that's long. false. I can't, I can't remember. I that. haven't seen all those. All I can say is Vegas... Because I watched that one a bunch. Vegas so you, Yeah. <laughs> You've only seen the le- the non-funny versions of everything. <laughs> You're like, The Simpsons, I've only seen the last three seasons. Uh, yeah. I, I, I've only seen seasons 18 through 22. <laughs> <laughs> and they're kind of not, they're not that bad. And it's kind of ironic because I watch a lot of movies and TV, just not what you guys watch, apparently. Well, you're a little younger, so... 
You, you know. It's true. I'm so young. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like when we were watching like the uh, David Spade, Dana Carvey, Adam Sandler, Saturday Night Lives, you were like four. <laughs> we're like, we'll yes. talk. We'll talk about Dumb and Dumber, and she, you're like, oh, is that the prequel to Dumb and Dumber? I, I mean, I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, like even like four or five years, like you know, right now doesn't make much of a difference, but like back then, I mean, it's a huge, like it's totally different shows that people watch. You You've know. probably never even heard of Menudo. <laughs> Who? <laughs> uh, let's see what else do we have that's all our topics for today good show guys yeah. <laughs> actually right. just talk about TV the whole time um, let's talk about TV that pe- other people actually watch and like listen to so two and a half men their ratings are down yeah they're. they're ag- still- I heard they're actually talking about bringing Charlie Sheen back really I mean well, but they killed him so is he yeah yeah, they got so mad they they made him die in the show. How did they kill him off? Well, they I, I think mean, it was they a never plane sh- crash. Like, or yeah, something. they just all you do that. is all you do is oh oh that season was just a dream. Ashton Kutcher mm. didn't, didn't exist. Yeah, and they wake up screaming and that's it. It was like that season of Married with Children where they had the kid and then they woke up and the kid was gone. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys see that season of Married with Children? They, yeah. they, for some reason, the writers I said, lost their the, way. I always saw the last year of the marriage. They don't, I always <laughs> yeah. saw the dream season. I hated that song, so every time it came on, I would, Love cha- and yeah, I would change the channel. I was like, It was no. like a hilarious show. Well, I actually think it was a funny, very funny show. Yeah. Except that season. They actually made like uh, Kelly smart, and she had a job. And that was. I do remember that. And then Bud would like have a model around each arm, but Kelly was still making like virgin jokes. Oh, Bud, you'll never get a girl. He's like, I know, and he has like a model on each arm. And goes, <laughs> yeah. the bedroom and, that like, was just like the al- <laughs> the season for the alternative universe that sucked. And, and then they made like No Ma'am, the main characters. I don't understand why shows mess. do that. They're like, we're really successful doing this. We're gonna totally change it. Well, you need like ideas because like it gets you need ideas, game. but they totally change their whole like premise. Like, How about when you're out of ideas, stop? Yeah, either. Yeah, stop. well, that would. Or make so, like dear small writers things. of Simpsons, stop already, <laughs> yeah. please end the oh, did, Speaking of that, did you see like uh, Matt Groening like revealed where like Springfield is? It's in Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> well, they they, uh, they they revealed it before. I don't know why. Like it's he now. revealed it in season ten, uh, and apparently- it was South Dakota, so he just totally changed it. No, so. well, apparently, no, actually, that town in uh, in Oregon. Apparently, the street signs are the names of the characters. <laughs> no, 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 dead serious. So it's I- not really a secret. It's not a secret. Like the characters, like uh, Montgomery Burns, are like two streets in that, in that city. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I heard. It was a. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not true. What the hell knows? <laughs> Liar. Up. Maybe that's false. I, I saw that somewhere. I don't know. Um, so strippers. Strippers. Um, apparently, lap dancers don't need to be skillful dancers. Study discovers. This is the headline I saw today about a study on strip on strippers that basically says that strippers don't. Need to be skillful dancers. I don't know. If she doesn't nail the landing, I <laughs> totally I, well, don't give her a tip. She's not, get, she's not getting my money. Here's yeah. what I don't understand is how, like, hey, just, uh, hey, um, boss, um, I'm going to stop in that cancer stuff. I think strippers, we need to figure out, is it their moves or their tits? Because <laughs> <laughs> something tells me it's their dancing skills. I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, gonna to go on 18 country tour to figure this out. Do you mind, mind funding this? Does anyone think strip clubs are like the weirdest, awkward thing, most awkward thing ever? Like, I, I Especially don't Especially when Emil doesn't have clothes on there. It's really weird. <laughs> no, I, I just, Emil's like, I'll give you a lap dance. Emil, get the hell off me. <laughs> no, I just like, it's just so weird. Like, I, you know, it's like, I don't know. I've just, never just, felt. Just, just because Jay's girlfriend can hear us doesn't mean you have to pretend you don't like strip clubs. <laughs> I've never oh, felt more uncomfortable last... than at a strip club. I, I was like so visibly uncomfortable. Like, one of the strippers said, like, out of like 12 of us, like, you look really uncomfortable, and I was like, "Yes, I am." Yeah, I, I've been to strip clubs where like they like they'll have an older stripper who's like, uh, "Yeah, like, that's that's the word." I mean, like most, of the guy, most of them. And are... she's like, and she's like, "Can I give you a dance?" And you're like, "Oh, uh, I'm sorry, no. Uh, come back later." And she comes back, and she's like, she keeps like trying to force it on yeah. you, and you're like, "Holy shit, you're old. Just go away from me already." <laughs> Maybe you should just say that. Yeah, but then you get like you'll get your ass kicked by the bouncer, who, <laughs> and the bouncers all used to play professional football. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had this friend in med school. He like he loved going to strip clubs. So every once in a while, he convinced me to do it, and I'm like, uh, "All right, I'll try it." And then I'm like, "That was the worst experience of my life." I'm, I'm and then he'd be like, "No, go again. You'll like it better this time." I'm like nothing's gonna change. It's the same. <laughs> like you, right. you like I'm, what I'm, makes wanna, you think I'm gonna like it now? I want to read the study to you guys um, until this gets uninteresting. 
Lap dancers aren't valued primarily for their dancing ability, a study has found. <laughs> they no longer need... To, this is the greatest story ever. They the, no journal, longer need, the Journal of Obvious Facts. Yeah. <laughs> they no longer need dancing skills because club owners prefer women who are better at hustling for private dances rather than performing... Researchers suggest it's just basically some guy got caught by his wife <laughs> and said, "I'm doing a research project." Really? Oh fuck, we have to fund this now. Is there a journal called the Journal of the Painfully Obvious? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they no longer need to. When did they have to dance good? Um, yeah. The researchers Before said boob implants. The researchers said hmm. it was unnecessary to have any dancing skills whatsoever, let alone the ability to do athletic tricks on the pole. The core skill necessary shifted from performance. Is this? <laughs> this is off of Huffington Post. What the hell? Of course it is. Um, one dancer complained about what she said was a fall in standards. She told the researcher, <laughs> researchers, "You'd see some girl There's who standards. You'd, hang on, you'd see some girl who wasn't even wasn't very pretty, couldn't dance, had a crap outfit, mm-hmm. making a lot more money than, than you because she was there to make money, not to enjoy herself and be creative." So she would be pushier. That sounds like the strip club I went to. <laughs> not to be creative. Oh, you know, I studied uh, I studied Pratt for art, so I became a stripper. <laughs> I think the one I went to was actually more of a whorehouse. Yeah. <laughs> no, because they kept saying, like, do you want to dance? It's behind a closed door. That's the, la- I mean, that's the lap dance, right? I mean, yes, you know, most places but have that. After, like, the fifth time, I, I turned to my friend. I'm like, why do they keep mentioning doors? What does that mean? And apparently well, in well, Rhode Island, there's a rule that if you're behind closed doors, you can do whatever you want and it doesn't right. count as prostitution. So basically they were prostitutes, but because it was a closed door, right, you could right. pay them for yeah, money that, and it's... That law was uh, written by the best congressman ever in Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> My brother lives in Rhode Island. Gross. And we yeah, see why. why. <laughs> I, know, I know where your brother goes. <laughs> it's like, I'm never leaving. <laughs> uh, where, where are you at again, brother? Uh, I'm at the library. What's all that music? I uh, gotta go. I'm behind a door. <laughs> <laughs> no. So these two doctors. Hang on, hang on. Let's see. Uh, um, wait, wait. Th- one of them's my friend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the researchers one of them's said. You. <laughs> yeah, the researchers. One of them, the other one's me. Um, if you if you want to find the study, just do a Google search for porn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> researchers said overall there was a consensus that the cost for dancers of um, of working in a club was increasing in order to cover the business overhead. Specifically, the wages of the other workers in the club. And sh- oh, that's not that interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's like every other business on the planet. Yeah. The oh, here's shit. the best part. Um, Dr. Sanders and Dr. Hardy surveyed... Dr. Hardy! <laughs> 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 Dr. Yeah. Right, that was a the good study, the, the study was so well. I'm you, no longer I'm Dr. Softy now. I can't believe you forgot that part. That's Dr. The best Sanders part. and Dr. Sir so Hardy <laughs> surveyed 197 dancers... <laughs> Interviewed 35 women and visited 20 strip clubs and pubs, the largest research project of its kind in the strip club industry in the UK. <laughs> industry? Oh, shit. It's an industry. There's an industry of researching this stuff? <laughs> um, okay, so who wants to uh, research the mating habit of aardvarks? Oh, okay, Bill, you got that? Okay, uh, Dr. Hardy, you want strip clubs? <laughs> Damn, I said yes too quick. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck this. I can't believe it. <laughs> If I see another aardvark, fuck, I'm going to fuck them. <laughs> I think if your name is Dr. Hardy, you sort of have to do that. Dr. Yeah. Sanders is like, I'm glad I was staying next to Hardy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> Joe Sports. <laughs> Where did we hear about that? <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw this online. Know, you just kind of said it. And then I just said some dude that. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> side conversation. I need more rum. Yeah, I was just about to say. Uh, I was going to give you a sad face with, like, the upside-down cup. Two-minute rum break? <laughs> Yay! Rum break! All right, two-minute rum break. We'll be back. Uh, you don't have to wait two minutes because I'm going to edit out this break. But you break. have to drink rum or beer. The Brink of Sanity at gmail.com. Like Brink of Sanity show.com is the website. Twitter is Nick of Sanity with a K uh, because I was trying to combine our Nick's podcast and the Brink of Sanity, and then they said, you know what, I'm going to make a separate uh, Twitter for the Nick's podcast, but somebody took the... Brink of Sanity Twitter in the uh, month I changed it. No. Wow. And now I can't get it back. And they Why, don't use really? it. And they don't use it. Oh, they they know. tweeted twice in a span of three days and then never used it again. It's been nine months and I can't what? I can't get it back. So <laughs> Can you tweet them? Like, give me my thing back? They don't check. Hmm. They don't if, check. If you want to learn about babies, go to newdaddyhood.wordpress.com. Just letting you know. <laughs> That's a, 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 by babies, you mean only one baby and Mark's baby. Yeah, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. This is the Truth or Truth podcast with Brandon, John, that's me, 
and whomever we feel like having guest on the show. Feel free to check us out at www.truthortruth.com. Follow us on Twitter at truthortruth.com. Find us on Facebook and find us on iTunes. Here's a little bit of one of our recent episodes. I remember when I was in junior high, and there's a. I finally understood a song, and I giggled every time I, I heard it on the radio. Song Come that. together right, right now, now over me. What's that about? I'm pretty sure it has to do with ejaculation. Beep. Do you know what that is? Beep. An ejaculation, actually, if you look it up in the dictionary, is a very quick prayer. Right. So to the Lord Jesus. To the to the Lord to the Lord Jesus. <laughs> so it is perfectly normal for a priest to tell children. To go home and practice your ejaculations. It's okay. perfectly normal for a priest to ejaculate in front of a lot of children. You are. You're <laughs> using very correct English right now, John. Um, like, let's say, I don't want to bring up a sore subject for you, but on the subject of where your brother is stationed, if there was a priest praying in Djibouti, he could ejaculate in Djibouti. <laughs> he could. Right? So there are priests <laughs> right now ejaculating all over Djibouti. <laughs> they are spread out from the east and the west in the corners of Djibouti, ejaculating all over that. All they're over. not. I think they're pretty much in the middle of Djibouti. In, in the middle I think of Djibouti. the ejaculations are pretty much right, centered. Right where the action is. I think there might be some ejaculations running through Djibouti <laughs> as part of a movement. I think it's a movement. <laughs> And we're back. We're back. Um, so Jay was just going to explain to us how photosynthesis works. Go on, Jay. Photosynthesis is something with plants and photos. Wrong. You take a, oh. photo, you take, you take a photo of a plant and then you put it on Instagram. And, and then it looks funny. old and shitty. <laughs> you know, Instagram, that thing was sold for a, a billion dollars. I don't get it. So you take a nice photo and you make it look old and shitty. And square. And square. And then you put it on Facebook. You know, Facebook are, pays you a billion dollars for it. They, they, they only had it for iPhone. And mm. I was like, all right, you know, I didn't really care. And then it came out on Android. I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. I opened it up. I'm like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Does it cost on, money? On this, no, it's free. It's well, free. I mean, Facebook paid a million dollars. I got it for free. Facebook, yeah. No, Facebook paid a billion dollars. I got it for dollars. free, and then I uninstalled it for free. And, yeah. then, <laughs> and then, I don't know, and then we had this conversation. Instead of making my uh, pictures look crumpled, uh, I like them actually to look nice. So, yeah, I uninstalled it too. I just assumed since people, like, you know, it was so popular, they would actually have something useful about it, but I was wrong. They actually made, they're actually another one, uh, InstaTV, where you can turn your uh, your high, <laughs> high definition programming into grainy black and white. It's yeah. awesome. Awesome. So I was, yeah, I was watching, I was watching the uh, the Nick game, yeah. and it looked like an I Love Lucy episode. Just, just <laughs> give, awesome. You just, all you have to do is give me your TV, and then I don't know. You have to go find an old TV somewhere. You could put it in Charlie Chaplin mode. <laughs> Facebook has offered a billion dollars for Insta TV. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just bring over your new TVs, and um, you, I'll tell you where you can find some old TVs. And uh, yeah, we'll, there's an, I'll there's, give you a reel to reel machine. There's an app where you can make um, the iPad work like a Commodore PC 300. <laughs> Commodore 64. The Commodore 64. <laughs> yeah, give me your uh, PS3. I'll convert it into an NES for you. That, that's pretty cool. I can uh, use DOS on my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> all those born recently have no idea what I just said. No, no, all those jokes probably didn't go through. Um, but that's all right because... Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's not all right. No, it's not all right. All right, fine. They we'll should do... have to struggle through. Like, so, how about those Kardashians? That black, that black screen, <laughs> like when your your computer died, and you have to like type in all these commands. They're like, uh... yeah, they're like you know what? I don't remember that because I was born in 1990. Yeah, and that didn't exist. Like that guy at that party that we went to. Okay. Yeah, we went to a party and this guy's like, I'm 21. And I'm like, well, we have nothing in common. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what year is that? He's like, 1990. I'm like, oh. I was wearing this awesome shirt, which had the spl- uh, spready gun, um, you know, item thing from Contra. Oh, and man. they're like, oh, yeah, I've never heard of the game Contra. I'm like, yeah, you're really young. Yeah. You're like, up, up, down, down, get the hell out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, a joke the 21-year-old wouldn't get. Okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just yeah, keep doing. I keep <laughs> doing contra insult jokes. No, we were like, I don't we were doing like contra jokes and we were laughing and they mm-hmm. were like, "These guys are old and crazy." Well, <laughs> well, whatever. I've got ninety eight more lives, so you're you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we had to beat games without being able to save it and we had to play through <laughs> oh, the Oh yeah, that was annoying. It's still. I don't know. It's kind of cheesy now. I hate I today's know. games though. I hate the like 
go on a mission. Yeah, you know, life's hard enough. I'm not going to go on a fucking mission now. I just want to go shoot stuff. Yeah, remember when you held right and you just tapped the B button until you, like, won or lost? Yeah, that's all I want to do is, like, hit the button a couple times, win or lose. I, like, jump a couple times, and that's all I want to do. Not... You've got to solve a puzzle in the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to solve a puzzle in the Midwest, actually. I got to go to work, actually. So like, those, gonna... like those multiplayer online games. They're like, uh, go to this guy, hand this to this guy, and then go to that guy. And then you're like, this is like work. I yeah. have a job. Yeah, By the way, hand it to <laughs> during the break, Lauren asked that we could talk about more female-centric topics. So we started with video games immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's all right. We're moving on to football now. Okay. Anyhow, um, ball sweat. You guys want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyhow, and Super Mario. I, I don't know any girl topics. I'm okay, so what do you want? You said top five female. No, we were having a good conversation about gym sports. 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 Gym no, sports? no, no. no. Well, everyone, you got to play gym sports. Girls are girls have to play. I go gym to sports. Zumba. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> what, what just happened? That, that's is, what we call a girl topic. Is that, outside, is, that is that in Queens? <laughs> do they make smoothies? Dancing. What system is that for? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And Lauren was no, never, no, no, I got it. I got Lauren it. was never on I got the show it. again. Zumba, no, no, no. Zumba was the guy who had a B at the end of Contra. He was that big dude. Is, is that a, a character in Banjo-Kazooie? The hell is that? I didn't know what that was. So, all right. Now I'm out-nerding my own references. <laughs> yeah. Banjo-Kazooie, you guys didn't play when you were a kid? Banjo-Kazooie, <laughs> God damn it, it was awesome. You just n- out-nerded us all. It's for Nintendo 64. Me and Banjo-Kazooie, we'd, we'd read comic books together. Yeah. It was awesome. He was my best friend growing up. Not even... <laughs> Not even that old of a game. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, we were saying how uh, they've basically made every uh, gym sport, like, mild. Because any gym sport you can so, get hurt is, like, banned now. Basically, gym sports suck because... Yeah, what Jason. They actually have, <laughs> they actually have chess as a gym sport now. Right. Because, like, well, I mean, when we were growing up, we had dodgeball and, uh, you know, like, hockey... With, without padding. Well, here, here's the thing. So when kids are growing up now, they try to pussificate everything and just say like, oh, we don't want to make the world competitive. I love that word. <laughs> well, well, I bet... It's, uh, Webster's is going to adopt that next year, pussificate. It's a great word. <laughs> I bet the... I so bet hang they, on, but they, they, they pussificate everything. And so the kids from age like 3 to 18, they're like, the world's a gentle place. Everything's wonderful. Mm-hmm. You're 19, you need health care? Go fuck yourself. Go live in the hook. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you don't have a skill? Can't get a job? Oh, well. Can't eat. <laughs> No, they're, the they're, 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 the kids are probably like, "Oh, we have to get off our cell phones for this." Like when they go to gym class, they're like, uh, "Yeah, where's the app for this?" Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dodgeball! I can play multiplayer dodgeball right here with my iPhone. <laughs> I, I, I downloaded a note that says I don't have to do gym. <laughs> it's, it's they just phone. flick their finger on the iPad, and the dodgeball goes over to the other person's <laughs> iPad. <laughs> Future. You know they give trophies to like That's both teams now in like little league sports. Like every team wins, it's, or they're like, "What's the score?" Like, oh, we don't keep score. We all just go out for ice cream after the game. Really? I would do the league. I'd be like, "We everyone wins, so no one gets a trophy." That's why we need a winner, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy a trophy until one of you guys says you're a winner. Isn't that the whole point of sports to keep score? I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, you know, the competitive part of it is like, you know, it's like if you suck, then get better. <laughs> like that's the whole point. You know? I would. That's so life. When my son, yeah. when my son, he gets old enough to play little league, and when his team beats the other team by twelve, by, by twelve to fifteen runs in baseball, mm-hmm. and uh, when they're like, "Oh, dad," they said, "Neither side's a winner. We're all just winners." I was, I was to say, "No, you guys score more points, more runs. You're winners. They're losers." Ton. Right. <laughs> Go tell them that. <laughs> You're yeah. losing. Go kick dirt in their face and tell them that. Well, it's like if I'm at work and I do my tax return wrong, uh, my boss isn't like. Oh, well, you know what? Everyone's a winner, so even though you did it wrong, like <laughs> yeah. here's a raise. They're like, uh, no, you don't have a job. Everyone's now. a winner. Some people are less winners. Like, you, you're you fired, so you're less of a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could still go out for ice cream, though. Jay, Jay, even though you did the most retarded tax return I've ever seen in my life, we're all winners. We all get bonuses. Really, boss? No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was a kid, we all got trophies. Where's we don't the- employ retards. Go play dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real world. For anyone like, it's like still in high well, school it's, gym. It's like yeah. in third grade, like you have class elections. If you ran a class election the way they run, they run normal elections, mm-hmm. like you'd be like your kid would be suspended and kicked out of school. <laughs> like, well, like you go on there like saying like lies about your your opponent and, and like just like they'd be like, oh, why why would you do that? 
Well, I watched Obama run against Romney. Is anything yeah. between that? Well, and also only two kids would be allowed to run. And uh, <laughs> one side would be allowed to throw the other kids' ballots on the side of the road. And, and both sides and would not claim have a that they totally disagree with the other side, but they were saying the same exact thing. Yeah, they actually meet sort of in the middle. <laughs> They actually both and McDonald's would give a billion dollars to one kid's campaign. <laughs> it would be totally they're, they're fine. Both yeah. for, they're both for no homework, but um, each side says the other side likes homework. And one of the kids' dads owns an oil company and pays all the kids' bills. <laughs> and then all the other kids can have a little committee that vetoes everything that the winner does. And one one kid says the uncool kids aren't allowed to go to a nurse when they're sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, political jokes, folks. <laughs> yeah! No, they're, they're, they're grade school jokes. That is, yeah, it's a very good point. <laughs> we only do third grade <laughs> jokes. Uh, do we have any more news stories to do? And we're out of topic. That's a good joke. <laughs> we should, oh, you know, actually, we do. The uh, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson, the Jew lover. Is was he still gonna... alive? Yeah. He's, he, he's, did... he was in a movie, like, <laughs> like, a, like a talking beaver, a couple, uh, like a hand uh, puppet. Like a... I heard that was actually a good movie, but nobody saw it because everyone hates Mel Gibson now. Was he in well, the beaver? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was like a you psychiatrist and he yeah, talked no, to people. Yeah, no, retarded. Sorry. Yeah, I heard it was good. I don't know. I don't know. He did that movie where he was like... Did you set hear in, from like, Mel anxious... Gibson? <laughs> did yeah. Mel Gibson tell you well, it was he, good? He did that movie he made, An Ancient Mayan. That was good. That was fan- yeah, it was fantastic, yeah. actually. Yeah. I, was like, okay. I was like... I never saw it. I was yeah, like, was I don't like his Jew hating, but his movies are decent. <laughs> you know what? Most of these people are assholes in real life, so either you watch the movies or you don't. Well, well, Apocalypto also is like, it's weirdly advertised. All, it mo- all the movies is a giant chase. Yeah. And it's really like a fantastic, one of the greatest chase scenes in any movie, any movie ever. Yeah, and it's just really visually stimulating and actually kind of gory, but it doesn't dwell on it enough that you're like... That you care? Yeah, it was like uber violent, but yeah, they move on. Yeah. The show was brought to you by a pop. <laughs> 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 yeah. And Braveheart's one of my favorite movies. Oh yeah, that That's was great. That was really good, yeah. Um, and a Braveheart two, the one set in America about the revolution, that was pretty decent, also. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where he said? Wait, were the Ninja Turtles? Yeah, the one where the Joker dies at the end. <laughs> were the Ninja- Wait, I thought, that was, I thought that was called reality. <laughs> was there, were, were there Ninja Turtles in Braveheart two? <laughs> and Michael no, Bay's version. <laughs> No. George Washington was an alien in Michael Bay's version. <laughs> um, but he, so he's. No, making, but did you notice there's no Braveheart sequel? Like that's the way to do it. Like you don't make sequels for like good well, movies. It was historical. It was historical kind of fact, yeah. and they uh, you couldn't like really. I'm sure it. stuff I'm happened sure in Scotland s- afterwards. Yeah. It's not like Scotland <laughs> ceased to be a country. You could have made a like, and they, they could have made a sequel. And again, they did make a sequel. It was the one in the revolution. <laughs> it was a sequel. I mean, and they made, made another sequel called Gladiator. Like they kept making sequels. <laughs> Um, so he apparently he was going to make a movie Braveheart two kind of, but it was like G- the Jew Braveheart um, about uh, Jew heart. That would have been an excellent name Brave for the Jew. show. You might want to copyright that before it, before. It, before it, <laughs> Wait, wasn't that called Munich? Before Jay, yes, yes. Jew and, Heart the Brave Jew. Anyhow, Jew, <laughs> Jew Heart was a mighty fine Jew Heart Jew. Well, they had the Bear Jew in the Glorious Bastards. Um, That's right, they did. So, anyhow, um, they were making this movie that was supposed to be kind of the uh, the Jew Heart. Sorry, Jew Heart the Brave Jew. <laughs> I have more funny things to say. So, um, <laughs> I think the doc. That was, it. That was that's pretty good. Yeah, the show's over. <laughs> so I'm still laughing. So. so it was about the Maccabees, which is like a Jew army. And uh, wait, I guess, the Jews had an army? I didn't thought they didn't do manual labor. They actually did in Egypt for many years. <laughs> um, so anyhow, they they built the pyramids. Um, so anyhow, so they, I guess it was supposed to be the Jewish Braveheart. And the guy, they got so so so. Okay. So anyhow, so when Valkis, <laughs> no one's gonna appreciate that much of the air. We have to... <laughs> if we don't talk about stuff, no one's gonna listen anymore. <laughs> they should all still be laughing about two hearts of rage. Okay, so Dr. <laughs> Dr. Jew Hardy rescued the team. <laughs> okay, we're out of Jew jokes. Um, so anyhow, it's just that one joke. It's, yeah. o- it's okay. I'm Jewish. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm all for Klimt. <laughs> Um, so anyhow, Mel Gibson was trying to do this movie about the Jewish Braveheart and Jewheart. And so, and I guess like, uh, so he, he wanted to look up here serious. So we got, he got 
Joe Esther Hartz. S S Esther Hartz. You're taking way too long to get it. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> who was best known for making Basic Instinct to write a movie about the Jewish the Jewish people? Uh, <laughs> but anyhow, so I guess after the movie, the director, uh, the screenwriter, sorry, Joe said. The reason the movie didn't get made is because Mel Gibson hates Jews. And it was this long tirade letter well, they should have that we released, that he released like to the media. Well, they should have known. I mean, clearly he hates Jews. I mean, it's not a secret. Right. Uh, they didn't yeah, that's like the thing. I don't understand what was the confusion. <laughs> they didn't hear his voicemails or watch Passion of the Jew or... What did he... What did, what did they think? Well, they he... said... So in the letter he has, if you click they, on the letter... They think that he forgot. He says all these things like, um, like, he called everyone heaves. Is that guy a heave? And, uh... Cool. Do they think that he forgot that he hates Jews? Like I heard the best. There was an interview with, with Mel Gibson two years after the whole incident with the cops, and the uh, the reporter goes asks him like, "Well, about like, do you still like uh, get a lot of questions about that, uh, or it's like is it still something that like you're dealing with?" And he was like, "He got so mad. He's like, I did my Mia culpas. I don't need to talk about this anymore." And we're like, "But you still hate Jews. We can talk about it." Right. <laughs> it's like, no, I love them all now. My throat hurts now. Yeah, that was that was a lot. Of life. I'm like, all, I'm all. So we really didn't do anything about Mel Gibson whatsoever. We just called Jew Hard. And no <laughs> yeah, that story was kind of boring. Just the Jew Hard was the good part. The brave Jew. In summary, Jew Hard. Okay, <laughs> okay. Just to just to hang on. What do you call a rabbi in a strip club? Jew Hard. Then I'm done. <laughs> the hard Jew. No, oh. Jew Hard's funny. Oh. Okay. okay. Um, yep. All right. I'm closing out that story. It's also, it's also, it's also, all right, let's move on. So all those Jews were recording on Passover, just to let you know. <laughs> do you want to do the religion thing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of talked about religion. Yeah. We talked about a religion. We did. My top, I have a top five. God damn, let's do something else then. Why don't no, you, we could do it. I mean, no, I, no, no. What are the topics we have to talk about, Jay? We could do the top five of your thingy. Religion? Uh, so, yeah. No, let's go on something else. Let's another, another topic. What's going on with you, Jay? You know what's annoys me? Mm-hmm. So my building, I live in a doorman building, and uh, if you want to have packages brought upstairs, if you have a lot of packages, like one package, you just bring it up yourself. Mm-hmm. But if you have a lot of packages, they have like a thing, like a little cart like they have in a hotel, like in a hotel, they're like really mm-hmm. have that also. Yeah. yeah. It's not that in common. Um, but the thing is, the cart, you're not allowed to bring it up yourself. All the building has to bring it up for you. Oh, no. They don't and, have that rule. And you're apparent, not allowed? You're not allowed to do it. They, but the building's pretty, it's a pretty big building, so maybe like they don't want to lose it. Mm-hmm. But then they bring it up and then they expect a tip for it from you. I didn't realize that they... I, I didn't know you had to tip the guy. Mm-hmm. I did, but like I was, I was like, okay, thank you. And the guy's like, yeah, whatever. He's like, he's like, that's it, fine. And he got like all pissed at me. And I was like, I didn't know I was supposed to have a couple dollars to give you. I just want to get my packages. I didn't know there was a fee to get my packages. Yeah, that's annoying. I would have like, brought it myself. I don't want to yeah, pay you five. Not bucks. everyone has like change and stuff like all the time. You know, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, also, I don't want to pay five dollar delivery fee for my package that's just downstairs. That you clearly could have brought up <laughs> that yourself. You probably yeah. already, that you already paid a delivery fee to I, get to the apartment building. This whole tipping thing has gotten yeah. way out of hand. Like you know, Dunkin' Donuts has like a tip jar. And it's like, I order a donut, they hand it to me, and the, you know, it's like, all right, you want a dollar too? The donut costs 60 cents. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't, like, if you want a tip, just say, this is the tip that you owe me. I'll be like, tipping, okay, I didn't know. Thank you for telling me. That tipping way, like, by definition okay. is is optional. That's the whole point of tipping. If it's mandatory, then it's not a tip, it's just the cost. I think they right. should eliminate, I think tipping is what the dumbest thing in the world. I think they should eliminate it. Just add the cost to everything. Yeah, Whatever yeah. it to pay the waitress, just add right. the cost in. Yeah, I'd be so much happier to that. Just yeah. Just, yeah, I'm happy to pay them. But just I hate the idea of like going like, oh, should I pay this? Should I pay this? Should I... Uh, the waitress threw up on me. I have to pay her 15% anyhow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like seriously. Like it's 18%. I want to appear cheap to the woman. Pay the waitresses $12 an hour and put the price yeah, and for, the like Even if they had the worst service in the world, you're still <laughs> obligated to pay them. Like, Is this almost... uh, no. <laughs> if, it's, if it's seriously, seriously sucks, I will not tip. Yeah, but yeah. that's rare. That's yeah. extremely. It is rare. rare. I mean, I, I don't that's know. That's like I think, two or three. I still think dollar. people will still tip. I mean, maybe not as much, but they'll like people. There's not a lot of people that'll pit, tip nothing. You know, I'll just, tip like if you really sucked, but I don't know. I might tip like eight percent when normally right, I'll tip right. like so twenty that's plus. That's the thing. So that I mean, you know, like that's the minimum that you're gonna tip no matter what. I, I did that once where it was like the worst thing ever, and I tipped a dollar, which basically says I know I'm supposed to tip. And I'm purposely doing this because you sucked. Right. There was once I left just the change left over mm-hmm. from, it was like seven yeah, cents. Yeah, yeah. And on the back of it, I wrote like 
how much why she sucked like why she oh that's awesome her. that's good yeah i was like this is why you're getting this i'm not like some broke college student that's trying to screw right over. no like, people should know people should know and i write that every time because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people yeah she actually has a whole uh, photocopied set and she just puts it on the table each one. no i've mean, reprinted this about your asshole <laughs> no but i mean people think like oh i'm a waitress i well, should get 15 and 20 percent like no matter what and you it's hear, like, like all these no. stories about people like yelling like waitresses or managers yelling at patrons because they're like you didn't tip enough mm-hmm. or i'm like seriously let someone try that with me and see what happens well <laughs> if it's the manager i'm like how about you just pay your employee a normal wage and leave me the fuck alone right right <laughs> but you know what, like so the system like in europe they have the system it's different <coughs> you just don't tip and everything their salary is they're they're due the way i just I suggested mm-hmm. they get a, a normal salary um, and most of the time, I think the service is just as good. Mm-hmm. Except you don't have to deal with the annoying calculation at the end of the meal. Yeah, yeah that's that's much better. You know, I was in one I was in one place um, with my wife, and we were on our honeymoon in Italy, and we had this whole meal, and they didn't bring out one item. It was like like a salad thing. Mm-hmm. And so we were done eating, and like thirty minutes passed, whatever. We're kind of like drinking our wine, and the guy's like, "Oh yeah, here's your salad." We're like. We were done eating for like a half hour ago, <laughs> right. and he's like, "Okay," I'm like, "Could you? Just, we don't want to pay for pay for that." We. Again, we're, our meal's been over, and he got, like, so pissed at us. I guess he was working for a tip, he wouldn't have been so, but, uh... I think yeah. he just actually just didn't give a shit either way. Well, some people just are really bad at their jobs, too. Yeah. Uh, tips aside. But, yeah, no, it, it's, uh... It, it makes much more sense doing it that way, uh, with the tips included already, because... At, at least, like, at least for waiters, you know, generally, you have to tip every time. It's the things that you don't know, or you're not, like, sure how much you're supposed to tip... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you get a haircut, and you're supposed to tip, I guess, yeah, it, and like you're like you, like you don't know how much to tip. There are these like, like pseudo restaurants, which are like you know you sort of get like you have some service, but not like total service, yeah, and like you're cozy. like cozy. Like they yeah. bring you out your sandwich. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's but, when you don't know how much to tip because they didn't do anything besides just bring. Yeah, you know, I don't your, tip there. Yeah, but or, I tip my smoothie maker because it's like fifteen cents or fifty cents back on my like five dollars so i'm just like just keep it right so yeah. because i get smoothies every day i'm probably giving them like 20 bucks right yeah or maybe like a bartender sometimes you're like i mean you just took off the cap and just hand it right although i found out if you uh leave a five after your first drink yeah they start giving you some. they will yeah they'll they could be 20 people ahead of you he'll like you know re- point to you through the crowd and say what do you want so uh That's smart yeah yeah so I, I tend to do that now because I usually tip a dollar drink anyway. But I found yeah, if you do five dollars on the first drink, first, yeah. you don't even have yeah. to do any more the rest of the night. You just give them the tip in the beginning. Or, or, or if you, I mean, too. You actually the tipping at the wedding thing. So I would, I, I would agree with that, except for the fact that uh, when well, I don't know, I actually know what you're gonna say about weddings, but like when I got married, <laughs> sorry, I just cut you off. Like, so <laughs> I agree. Hang on, hang on. I'll just statement. fill in the, rest like, the, of we- the wedding thing is retarded. Here's why the wedding thing's fucked up because the wedding thing, the the pe- the people are throwing the wedding have already paid right. and are tipping all the staff. Mm-hmm. And then they ask for a tip on top yeah. of that from you. I actually don't tip. That's really obnoxious. No, they don't ask for it, but I did it recently. I, my, I went to my, yeah. cousin's, my cousin's I don't tip wedding. At weddings. And so, they made my drinks so strong. Because but there's, there's, the guy was like, you, yes, thank you for the tips. They're supposed to be told not to accept tips at weddings. Because like uh, it's... Like, it's rude because you're already getting a tip, anyhow. They're not... I mean, they just have a little bowl. You do what you want. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, didn't tip. They didn't, like, say anything. They didn't look weird. They just went about their business. At some weddings, they, like, they, they prevent them from putting those cups, those plate, those things out. It's That's why people don't rude. know, though. I mean, those people... I don't think those people are being rude. I mean, because at those things, like... You don't know, like, all those places, like, you can you would just assume. Right. I mean, you make your own decision. Yeah, they right. don't, it's not like they... It's extra. Like, it's but it's like, kind of like, yeah. like you put your custom, you put, your, like, all the guests in an awkward position because you're saying, like, you're like, I'm going to tip you, but then you're going to ask my guests for a tip also. Or make it, yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, they're paying, like, these people obscene amounts of money for, like, the whole... You know, like... They're all getting a huge tip, though, yeah, at the end. They're at getting, the end. Everyone's getting tips. Not tip. necessarily. I mean, Kat, does Kat get huge tips from where she works? I mean, but she's she, a bartender no, no, already. But, well, she does weddings, and sometimes she'll come back with, like, ten bucks. You know, Which it's, okay. that's, that's so, a good counter argument. That's the yeah. that's the other side <laughs> of it. Yeah. yeah, I guess it depends on what they what they're doing. I, I also like yeah, uh, along with that, like my company will have a company party like once a year, and they'll like say rent out uh, a bowling alley and they'll have open bar. Yeah, but then like I don't know if I'm supposed to be tipping the bartenders there because it's the same situation. Right, they're probably right, yeah. tipping. You know, I usually do anyway. You do like I think I, I sometimes I tip like every two or three drinks. Yeah, just to, you know, like. That's Just give a little bit, you know. Also, my coworkers were being idiots because they kept uh, they had a, a no shot rule um, because people got too drunk at previous parties. We're gonna so, say people uh, named Jay. 
So they said, uh, no, those people actually don't work there anymore. They got way too drunk. Um, they got fired? Yeah. Uh, nice. So they, they said no shots, uh, you know, included, but you could pay for shots. So, you know, my coworkers are paying like seven, eight dollars per shot. That's dumb. And That's so dumb. I walked That's up so to the stupid. bar. They were all doing tequila shots. So I walked up to the bar and I just said, uh, Patron on ice. So it's a shot. <laughs> And I got it for free, and I was like, suckers. (laughs) Jay's like, so anyhow, my job's pretty secure. (laughs) (laughs) Suckers are being So all you have to do is not get totally wasted. (laughs) The only difference between $7 and $0 is an ice cube, apparently. So that that worked out. They're like, Jay, why are you this creative at the alcohol part of the bar? (laughs) But at work, at work, you had to ship. Did you come up with this? Actually, like, I don't get shots, like, because when you go to a bar and you order a shot for, like, $7, it's, like, the biggest ripoff on the face of this earth, like, yeah. it's, like, the tiniest amount of alcohol, and, like, you know, you could get a whole drink for that, it's definitely less alcohol than a whole drink, there's no question, like, Well, know. if they make it nice, they're very strict about it, they put one shot of liquor. You don't go to thing. those places. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, that's I weird. mean, the very, I, saw that one I, mean, I went to a bar, bar uh, recently where they had, uh, it was, like, a shot of a... Whiskey, mm-hmm. but then a shot of pickleback with it also for like pickle, five. Pickle it's pickle back? juice basically, and you Gross. like you, you do the whiskey and then the pickle juice and the pickle juice cancels out the shot of the whiskey basically. I've okay. done that before. Yeah, yeah, no, so I've had, yeah. Oh, I'm not saying it's not gross. It's like <laughs> I'm just sharing a story, yeah. not, not like a, I feel like my stomach would cancel out both of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> refill each cup. My stomach would veto that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that that doesn't sound good at all. So what what lady topics do you want to talk about? Well, she's, she's, well, she, you know, she's chiming in. We're talking about drinking yeah, totally, now. Yeah. That's something yeah, I know a lot yeah. about, yeah, to be well, honest. Lauren, Lauren's on board with this topic. Drinking. Sweet. I gotta say, I think, uh, I think we've had a lot of fun this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you want to do another one? <laughs> we're just doing Are we just show. ending this and then starting with I thought we usually or? just, like, you randomly edit the we were show. Just, yeah, I thought we were just going to keep going or what. Do you yeah. have enough topics? Jay, you're the, the, you're the leader. How are we going to do this? I, it depends on what you guys are feeling. Lead leader. Why do we keep talking until we have nothing else to say? <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. We're... So, we're going to talk about TV again because... But we're going to start with watching. Lauren. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> what Lauren says she watches lady shows. Yeah. I imagine they're about... Um, housewives. H- um, housewives, cooking, and pillow fights. <laughs> <laughs> None of the above. Oh. Wait, where's this pillow fight show? I'm kind of interested in that. I like pillow fight shows. Is it it true that Mm, when girls have sleepovers, it's just um, in their underwear having pillow fights? Is is that true? Don't ruin it for us. Yes. Yes. That happens all the time. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Because that's the way we picture. Uh, Viv- 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 Productions has not lied. Don't ruin the fantasy. <laughs> and everyone looks like a Victoria's Secret yeah, model. Don't, don't ruin the fantasy. <laughs> Thank you, Viv- Just Viv- the <laughs> And there's a little bit of, uh, you know, kissing. Um, so what shows... <laughs> <laughs> Just a little kissing. Like, a little bit. Little bit. Little Accident. Bit. Yeah. Now that I'm married, I can't order pizza. I, now that I'm married, I can't order pizza because I assume when pizza shows up, we have an orgy. <laughs> pizza guy's here. <laughs> right, what a real girl show! Oh, what, no, the plumber no. showed up. Oh, what no. shows? Forget girl. What shows do you watch? Yeah, as a girl. Honestly, I watch so many shows that I have an Excel spreadsheet to keep track. Okay, this is okay. We got a topic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then, this then, is a true story. Then, by the way, all the shows that, is, is story. your hang on is your then Excel spreadsheet called the TV Guide? <laughs> no, it's then how is it possible that all the shows we mentioned you don't watch? Like, what are these well, other shows? I mean, you're hang talking on. about like. You? Male cartoon, adult cartoon shows. Okay, all right. So okay, wait, hang on. You have an Excel spreadsheet? I so do. What's the purpose of the spreadsheet? So that the TV guy doesn't like take care of for you. Because I need to make sure what to DVR and like make sure I get she's, it all. She's like a TV expert. Well, yeah, because some shows they, they have a second showing and maybe there's a conflict on a so, DVR exactly. show. Okay, Thank let's, you, Jay. Can we get some examples? What show so doesn't is... a DVR do that automatically? Like, does no. it... You can only record two things at once. Yes, so take Wednesdays, for hang example. On, hang on, what shows, what's, 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 Wednesdays? what shows are you watching? Yeah, what, what's going on on Wednesday? Wednesdays, 10 p.m. Okay. You got your CSI, okay. you got Law & Order SVU, you got Revenge, you got Psych, and then you had um, American Horror Story. So you, I, I had five that show. shows that show. uh, Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. Do you ever watch the USA Network? Yes. USA Network only airs Law & Order episodes. That's the entire... That's not true. 90% of all these shares. No, they have all those shows. Oh, they have NCIS, Law and Order. That's not has the spreadsheet. No, no, it says, not they, it says if you look up, My spreadsheet says we, you're lying. We <laughs> looked it up. We looked it up over the, uh, the 168 hours there in a week. 
140 of them were Law and Order and NCIS. Okay, that's like at 2 a.m. through the day. Yeah, are, yeah it's 2 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then you got prime time, which is when I turn on USA. What do you? So you watch? Um, do you watch anything they air? On TV? Yeah, I do. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You just mentioned five shows on at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays. Yeah, how do you? And have you five can only record two. Yes. Two. So fair, what do you do? Hang what on, do fair, you? I don't do? watch five shows regularly. <laughs> how do you watch five shows on at the same time? I don't. So here's my <laughs> strategy. Wait, so what shows were they again? They were CIS. No, CSI. Okay, so right. okay, CIS. Wait, CI, Wrong. CSI, <laughs> CSI, and NCIS are different shows. Yes, you, you, those you, are the yes. two most popular shows in the in the country, right? <laughs> I thought, that was a, I thought that was the same show. No. I was confused. Which one is David Duchovny on? Neither. Isn't he on California? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. That's actually who's, an awesome who's show. Who's the guy with the red hair? That was, that was, that's yeah, CSI it. Miami, which I don't watch. I used to watch it. Then they killed off this hot character and I stopped. Okay, okay anyway, I want to hear about how you manage five. Okay, okay. What the hell is CIS about? CSI. CSI. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really? Sorry, okay. it's, it's Law and Order, basically. So Is it, what was it about? Crime more... scene investigation. Yeah. So, Investigating the crime. Oh, okay. So, you know the first 15 the minutes of, of so Law it, and Order? Is it like that? <laughs> is it like Dexter? For the hour. It's kind of like kind Dexter. Of. It's They're kind of like Dexter. They're collecting clues, except there's no serial... Maybe there's a serial killer, but it's not one of them. Yeah, the cops aren't doing the murdering. Right. Okay. Right. But Dexter's awesome. Okay, five That's shows. Sundays. Again, another idea if you guys are out there, Dexter should be added to the cast of Modern Family. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Okay, go on. Okay, so back to, <laughs> also, that be every back to Wednesdays. You randomly murder someone? <laughs> Can we make a whole channel of yeah, shows? Yeah, let Lauren okay. talk. Okay. Back to Wednesdays. You got CSI and Law and Order for You, which I record on my DVR. Then Revenge, I watch on what the computer. Revenge? It's like a soap opera. Don't they have it on demand? It, like ABC Demand? Yeah, but I don't do that. I do... Why not? She does it online. <laughs> okay. I do it online. Okay. It's less oh, commercial. Oh, remember that show about the Hamptons? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. yes. It is. And then um, they have another showing of American Horror Story later, and Psych is later. So I rec- record them at like 1 o'clock in the morning. It's Psych like when I watched that. Uh, oh, I just started watching Psych. It's so funny, right? I stream It's like, awesome. I watched, Thank the, you. I watched part of the first episode. That's it? Yeah, that's it. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, no, actually, I'm actually, hang on. Watch, I think the show is probably awesome, but like I've only gotten to like the first episode. When my wife that was, was a while ago, I, to be fair, my wife was in labor. We were trying to figure out when to go to the hospital. We were killing time. <laughs> I, By I, watching Psych, it was like four in the morning. I was looking for something to watch on Netflix. And yeah, I, was like, really, I was like, I was like, Psych got good reviews. <laughs> I watched like thirty minutes of that's it. That's not really a fair shake. Then we had our baby, and I've never watched Psych since. <laughs> So I didn't give it a fair shot. You got distracted. Yeah, I was kind of distracted. And I it's was a like, good show. I was like, it was kind of, kind of clever and interesting at first, yeah. and I was like, oh, it's still on, and we have to go to the hospital. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't watch. That. Honestly, it's one of those shows that you kind of have to be on your toes and get their references. If you don't get their re- references, you're just like. There's a lot of eighties references. There's a so lot it's, of eighties references. Uh-huh. There's um, a lot of just like like my dad wouldn't get it. He'd be like, what's going on? But yeah, I put a thing. Everyone, Lauren's dad was in a coma for the entire eighties, so that's why he doesn't know to get. I, I put a thing. Um, I I put a thing on Facebook asking if I should watch Breaking either. Bad or Psych, and it was a pre- it was pretty even. So I went with Psych, and uh, it, wait, it's been really good. Really, yeah. over Breaking Bad. Well, be- I've never seen Psych, but Breaking Bad's amazing. Breaking Beca- Bad's the best. Oh, high five! What? Do it. Well, the thing is, <laughs> wait, what if you had to choose between the two? Breaking Bad is just like, it puts other shows to shame. Breaking so. Bad's an amazing show. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. People were saying that when I start watching Breaking Bad, I'm going to watch like the whole series and straight through. Yeah, you have to. And, you know, Kat and I like don't have a lot of time. So we watch an episode here, an episode there. So I figured we'll do Breaking Bad over the summer when we're not in school. And do That's Psych smart. now when we can watch an episode here and there. And it's, I watched you know, all four Jay's, seasons Jay's of Breaking strategic. Bad in less than three weeks. <clears throat> Because wow. I was watching it at work secretly, and yeah. I'm like, I'm just listening to music. I do, I'm just I do that like when I, I work at night sometimes, and I just watch entire series at night. Like you know, so, <laughs> I feel like, really better if nice. the doctor watches TV. At work. <laughs> well, there's, there's a pause. Like, button. My leg there's, is broken. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Sorry, I'm sorry. bleeding. Yeah, so, but this is a really good scene in Breaking Bad. <laughs> there's uh, technology has advanced. There's a pause button. <laughs> so for the bleeding or for the uh... <laughs> yeah. which one? Um, okay, I, I think there needs to be a whole channel. That just takes shows and puts the characters from a different show in those roles. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but they need to have a whole. A whole I would watch an entire. I'd watch an entire <laughs> like, like the entire lineup for CBS again. Replace all the characters with two Ninja Turtles, <laughs> two and a half turtles. <laughs> <laughs> 
There needs to be a whole channel where every show is just Wait, Ninja Turtles. Can we? Can we actually? How I met your turtle. <laughs> Turtle. The big turtle theory. <laughs> Mike and turtle. <laughs> and Mike and turtle. <laughs> Mike and very large turtle. I mean, CSI no, reptilian. <laughs> That'd be a good one. I mean, no, like, right, there's got to be a channel that nobody's watching. Can we just change it into a turtle channel? NBC. <laughs> totally. This is. This is. These okay, are good wait, ideas. Can we ask that? So, can I get? Ask, can I get the night of the week and tell me what you watch? Just starting with. I want to hear your whole lineup of what you watch. So Sundays. If I can remember, Sundays. Mostly. If right you miss now, a show, we're not gonna hold it. Okay, again. Sundays are The Killing, um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, awesome show. GCB and Mad Men. Mad Men, awesome. Mad Men's show. awesome. I love that's Mad four. Men. Four on okay. Sundays. Dex. Uh, what and then GCB? I have underneath uh, what's current. I have a Christian list of. Bitches. Is there something about yogurt? Stuff that what? That good. show sounds really terrible. Which it's one? Good Christian bitches. Yeah. yeah, it's really stupid, but I watch it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't watch Desperate uh, Housewives? I got into or, uh, Mad Men. I no. saw Mad Men. Mad was really like, good. I was recently working nights and I saw like the whole. In, like a couple Again, of weeks, I feel saw, really like, good about our medical system. More, Glad we play so much in healthcare. Costs. More, uh, <laughs> it gets quiet in a hospital. It's, it's the mid- It was like the middle yeah. of uh, a quiet season in Hamptons. The doctor says his pause. Is anybody dying? Yeah. All yeah, right, all right, play. Yeah. There's other doctors. Still there. alive? Knock, I mean, knock twice on the wall if you're still alive. If they wait a little longer, they'll be dead and can finish the entire show. It's not a bad strategy. <laughs> if you're dying, say nothing. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you're having a heart attack. You can't bother me now. <laughs> uh, okay, so Mondays. Mondays are. I don't want to admit this, but Heart of Dixie House, which is going off this air soon. I've seen a couple episodes of the House. That's a pretty good house show. Is I good. like House. And I watch. I haven't really seen that much of it, but I think I like it. Smash and Being Human. Being What's, human. What is Smash? I feel like I've seen the commercial. Being oh, human is a show. ghost, a vampire, and a werewolf. I, in the I got into that recently. I watched the whole first season and then I caught up on the stuff. I feel like I've seen the commercial. A ghost, a vampire, and a werewolf. It's like combining Lived every roommates. Oh, is it like How I Met Your Mother? Did you see it? Dead? Did you like it? <laughs> I didn't see it. No. Oh, is it, is, is it a good show? Yeah, I liked it. I got into it on Netflix. Did it just start? What's it about besides well, that it's, they're it's a ghost? Season. Season. It's like Friends, but Is it like The Odd Couple? But they're not human. No, I mean, it's not a comedy. It's like. Oh. When they live next door to Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Jason visits. Oh, uh, it's it was Friday. It's Friday the thirteenth, by the way. Ooh, speaking. So, speaking of that, what are you watching Tuesdays? <laughs> <laughs> really, we're gonna go through. My I whole really want. I'm dying to hear the whole list. Please. Oh God, Tuesdays. Um, I know Ringer's on. Ugh. Oh man, <laughs> that show's <laughs> terrible. Yeah. The Ringer. I watched the first episode. It was. The, I watched I watched ten seconds of it and I was like, "That's a, that's." A First story. off, I got annoyed that she didn't kill any vampires. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh yeah, un- unforgettable. Yeah, what the hell kind of vampire slayer is she? Parenthood's good, Parenthood's actually. Good. It's actually, pretty good. Glee, the New like, Girl. There's a bunch on Tuesday. New Girls isn't is like Girl's New Girls. I love that wouldn't, show. Wouldn't Up All Night like really? Um, be like what your life like sort of except they don't usually have the baby in the show yeah the baby's not even in the show <laughs> yeah stupid. it's barely in the show they actually they had one episode where they went to like play like a like some kind of playtime thing which actually was something similar to what we've done and, and Mark doesn't have Maya Rudolph barging into his house all the time I hate Maya <laughs> I um if Maya Rudolph could be replaced in that show by a Ninja Turtle it'd be a much better show <laughs> it actually, doesn't I, make sense it's like a it's a show about parenting but like their boss like walks into their house or they go to a bar and the that, boss right? is there bar? like she's just always yeah. there oh that's true you don't watch I've actually, <laughs> I actually don't watch that one. I've um, actually never seen more than like five minutes of it, the show the show would be better if they had one episode I've said this before in the show but if they had one episode where a zombie ate Maya Rudolph and they were like <laughs> oh man that was a shame and then they just, they never talk about it again that'd mm-hmm. be a great show <laughs> And the new girl, like, she's supposed to be quirky and funny, but she just acts retarded. Like, I don't really, yeah. I love yeah. that show. Ugh. I watch it. My she, boss watches it, so they well, I think the it. Pretty, I actually, I think, I actually pretty, think everyone in that show is good except for her. Well, I think it's she's pretty terrible. good. Like, I, The guys are funny. Yeah, the like, guys are really she, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I the guys say, are really on. awesome. I think she's terrible. I think she's pretty good. I mean, I, I know she can play, like, she's such a good job playing mentally handicapped. <laughs> I, I actually, I've seen her, I've seen her in, like, movies and stuff. You went full retard. You never go full retard. Like, she's really bad on that show. <laughs> she well, was good in 500 Days of Summer. That was yeah, movie. I actually liked her in that show. Actually, I hated yeah. her. I, like, like, I, like, she was really good in it, but she made you angry in that movie. She was an annoying character. Right? Well, if the, it, what they should do is the first episode of the second season, one of the roommates should be like, um, can you get my shirt out of the closet? And, they should just kill her. And, no, no, she, <laughs> she opens up the closet, and there's a bear in there, and it rips off her face. And the rest of the season, she's in a coma in the hospital. <laughs> and then the show's about the roommates. Yeah. Or or how about how about next season? 
You lost the bet. You got to wear the Ninja Turtle costume the entire season. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. Okay. <laughs> you lost the bet. You have to go fight Krang in the Technodrome. And the whole season is about her like training. She's like, I don't know if I should use the bow staff or the sigh or the nunchuck. Just use the one. I, I watched that. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the fourth roommate's uh, shred, uh, not uh, Splinter. Yeah. <laughs> he just trains her the whole time. So what else do you watch that we can talk about? <laughs> what? That you can make fun of? Yeah, yeah, we want to do this. We're going to go through the whole I show. I already told you my Wednesdays. Oh, yeah. but then I have to add America's Yeah, Next hang on, no, no, no. Wednesday you just told us about 10 o'clock. America's Next Top Model. There's only America's Next Top Model. I don't, I don't really... Oh, I forgot Dance Moms is on Tuesdays. Dance Moms. Dance Moms. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Dance Moms. <laughs> I've never heard of that. I that's assume a, it's self-explanatory. That's an actual show? Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. I've heard of Dancing with the Stars. Is this a, this is a reality show, I assume? Yes, and it's hilarious. And what's the uh, deal? The premise. Uh, there's a dance teacher and she's evil and mean. Now, now, did they like see Dancing with the Stars and like we should make a show about moms? I, I don't the know. Same what's, thing? What's, what's no, it's almost like toddlers and tiaras. It's like crazy moms and their talented daughters and the crazy. Oh, teacher, okay. You know. So the kids are the dancers. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, I didn't know that. The best part of yeah. Yeah. the moms. Are so no, the moms are like dance mom, like soccer mom. Mm-hmm. Well, know? toddlers and tiaras. We've seen that show. It's like parents that put their kids into like uh, pageants. Okay. The best part of the show, they don't show the um, the end of the show when social services takes the kids away. <laughs> That's the part that should happen. Yeah. Those are the worst human beings that are like the parents. Yeah. I can't yeah. watch that show. I it's agree. awful. They're, like, they're like giving but kids Botox. <laughs> I don't know that part, actually. How I don't know if you... Oh, top three sketch comedy Seven. shows I'm replacing in Living Color with Mr. Show. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good one. Oh, I totally forgot about that. And I was just thinking they did, you know, the Toddlers and Tierras. Oh, how did we forget Mr. Show? One of their skits was the, uh, the, the fetus contest with... (laughs) <laughs> they 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 had a guy go go like up there with a paintbrush and like put makeup on like the fetus oh my God. and they had like a fashion show with that that's so gross. and they had all like you know the the pregnant southern mom. How did we like, forget you know? Mr. Show? That's crazy. I yeah. totally forgot about that. Yeah. See, so there's real like, there's a lot of thirty sketch good yeah. sketch comedy shows. There are a lot of sketch comedy. Shows. Yeah, there I'm convinced. Yeah, there's more than um, three. <laughs> <laughs> go on with your uh, one your Thursday nights. Oh God, Thursdays are. Thursday must see TV. Vampire Diaries. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. End of end of bit on the show. Wait. So there's a show about vampires. I love no. you, but I've got to eat you. No. There's a soap opera, and some of them have fangs. It's so good. Can you believe like vampires are like the le- like it becomes like such a girl? It's not, I don't know if it was always a girl thing, but it seems like a uh, like a like a badass villain, and it's become like this biggest girl fantasy. Ever. Yeah. I also watch on Sundays where it's not on until summer. Um, True Blood. Uh, I watch that uh, under duress. I just have to add under the under duress. <laughs> I did not part. like I that. Hate that I did not like that. So no. that was bad. Yeah, I, 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 I tried really to watch it. it. I I saw some of the first season and it was painful. Yeah, I did, really I did not like that show. So what's it like? It was one of those shows where like I was like everyone says it's good. I gotta just stick it out till it gets good. And it just never got there for me. It gets I good like when it. you turn it off and turn on The Wire. <laughs> <laughs> I heard The Wire is good. I have to watch it. Yeah, the Wire the is list. hands down the best thing ever on television. That's right here. But yeah. it's only on discs on Netflix, which makes me angry. <laughs> what do you like better, Jack? That does make the me wire angry as well. Or, True Blood? Like, or no, I no, Wire. I saw the whole Mad Men thing streaming through Netflix, yeah. and that was awesome. And The Wire is like, I really have to wait for each yeah. disc. God the Wire is amazing. Um, um, we'll see. They should stream it through Netflix. Or so HBO has because HBO has their own HBO on demand. So you have to like. No, yeah, yeah no, they have their own, they're the competing service. HBO on demand equals me downloading torrents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> equals pirating. <laughs> it's like they're competing. So what's your what's your, what's your me plunder ye episodes? <laughs> what's your what's your, what's your Thursday lineup? Uh, Secret Circle is after Vampire what is Diaries. That? What is that? Is that a bunch um, of it's... guys that masturbate onto a cracker? Bukaki. That yes. sounds terrible. <laughs> it's amazing when it gets on TV. It's amazing. No. It's, 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 it's actually, no one actually watches, but they have hardcore porn at, 10, <laughs> at, at 9, 9 p.m. At, at 9 p.m. on Channel 11 every week. They have hardcore porn. No one's Mom, actually ever seen the show. Mommy, no one what is, is that? Then I have the range are so low. They're going to actually like, they're actually, <laughs> next week they're actually going to execute someone on the air. No one's also gonna at 9 is Touch. Which is Bukaki and then Touch. Oh, uh, it's 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 Jack Bauer, but oh, without the interesting part. Of that's it. the twenty four. The pussification but not, of the Jack Bauer. Bauer. That's like twenty four, yes. but like the pussification of not Jack 24. Bauer. <laughs> what? I don't know. Why did he come back to TV to like oh. do that? I don't know. I've only seen He's, the last it, two yeah. episodes. It's all right. I think it's basically like you're watching and go. 
oh, his kid's kind of special. Why is he not fighting crime? I kind of like the end where it all comes together. Though. What is it, like like 24 and the Sixth Sense like combined together? You know, I've Without so Tony Almeida. <laughs> I, I can only tell from the commercial because that's all I've seen. So yeah, me too. Right. I saw the commercial. Then there's Awake and Selling New York and Selling LA. How is Awake? I watched the first episode. It's pretty good, actually. Then I taped selling the episode. I'll probably never watch it. But selling New York is like real estate. For the yeah. show. I love real estate shows, actually. I know. That and like real estate, I feel like real estate shows are addicting. I don't know why. So Selling like New York, the three brokers they have? No, that's not Selling New York. That's uh, Million Dollar Listing New York. Million Dollar Listing. Which I also watch on Wednesdays. That's so, about the uh, this, the, the, the semi-finalist contestant on the Flavor Flav show becoming a prostitute, right? Yes. What? Yeah. What? what just happened? The anyway, million, <laughs> hang on, hang on. The Million Dollar Listing. This is the girl who came in second place on the Flavor Flav reality show twice was named New York. Um, it was a very funny joke and you guys didn't get any of it. I never saw this show. Wow. Fuck, fuck Jay. Up. Great joke. Tell another one that we have. You no didn't watch the talking. flavor. Fla- Nobody watched the flavor flavor reality show. Are you kidding me? I watched like two episodes. Of I it. saw some. I, I've seen it, but I, I don't think that I was really. I didn't like. I it. There was really spitting know. and fighting and. Yeah, just watch the Jerry Springer. Yeah, everything you'd want a reality show. Um, real estate. That was a lot different. So anyway, here's going to say about it. the million dollar listing show. Yeah. What's interesting about it is there's three main brokers they follow around. One of them was a uh, Swedish porn star, <laughs> and a dead serious Swedish or Norwegian porn star. And who's like one of these million dollar listing guys, and you're like, True. it's just weird that he's. He's a good looking guy. Yeah, he was. He was a he big was a porn, porn star. star. <laughs> there you go. Do you know any male porn stars' names? Joe. Wait, is this a question for the ladies? Joe. Big Anybody <laughs> like Joe? Joe, big thing. <laughs> uh, no, I have no clue. I, Peter North. Peter North. Yeah, he's okay. pretty famous. And John Holmes. I don't know John Holmes. I know Peter North. So. There's a guy at my work. John Holmes is like. I, I think I don't know seventies or eighties. He made like every movie, and we have a a, a guy uh, at somebody's job uh, named John Holmes, and yeah. he gave like a presentation. And at the end of the presentation, somebody's like, "For more information, go to johnholmes.com." <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think like you think a porn star would have a name of Richard because then you could just be Dick something, right? Yeah, Dick Hart, like Richard Hart or something. There's a so this is a law firm that I. Uh, I was working with someone that like got a job at uh, this firm called uh, Morrison Foster. Okay. And their website is mofo.com. Nice. This is kind of funny. Kind of funny. This, actually, this is the funnier part. So the guy who got the job was telling his wife I got this job at mofo.com. And I guess she she typed it in. Oh, she went to the mofos. She typed it in an S. <laughs> and she was like, and they're like very religious people. And they're like, she's like, we got a job at what? <laughs> what and is mofos.com? Jay, you want to type it in? <laughs> Let's, let's, let's hardcore, it's hardcore. It's hardcore porn. Let's go yeah. to the. Let's go to the internet. Yes, Mofo should have really read. They, they should. Have, they should change their website. This is mofos.com. Mofo. <laughs> <laughs> this on. is your law firm. Um. Whoop! There's her butt. Yep. So there's stuff. <laughs> there's. there's yeah. yeah. This okay. is this site's for the ladies. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So Thanks that's for Mo- that. That's Mofo. <laughs> Not that so, I knew about that before Mark said Saturday, that. Saturday night. <laughs> he, just, he just typed it in and saw what happened. I just bookmarked it. <laughs> Jay, that's your most visited Jay. website. <laughs> 142 visits. Jay, why, why is it, it in your favorite? Why, is, why does it say password already saved? Yeah. <laughs> you have a, a lifetime subscription. <laughs> subscription. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's your so whole wait, TV what's, lineup. What's the Saturday? We haven't got Saturday no. yet. Oh, we didn't get Saturday. Do we do Friday? Oh, Friday, yeah. No one watches TV on Friday, so it doesn't matter. I have Apparently, Lauren does. She has a spreadsheet. Oh, okay. She does. I mean, no else? one as in I except have... Lauren. Oh my god, I forgot all my USA shows. You were all, you were talking about USA. Did, are you recording them right now? This happens to be a Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Nikita, in plain sight, and Grim. Do you keep these networks into that and like business? I don't understand. In plain sight. Is that about the doctor? No. No. That's it's about like the U.S. Marshals, like no, no, what you want to call it. I don't know that show. Where they... I watched the first episode of Grimm. It wasn't horrendous. I like. It's a good show. I like it. I, look I can't. Forward to it. I can't see myself ever watching another episode. All right. Don't yeah. Be it's fine. Not, yeah. No. Same, same here. Same. Not like nothing against your your show. That's fine. Uh, what else do you watch Friday nights? That that is it. There's there's three. Oh, uh, what's Saturday? Uh, just SNL sometimes. There's nothing else on Saturday. No. She goes out. That's it. She, she has a life. She's, she's like, like, no, that would be ridiculous. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's got DVR. Like, there's has to be new shows oh, on yeah, there. Oh, yeah, DVR. Oh, that's yeah. it. I said no. There's nothing else to say. They don't really put a lot. I forgot, I forgot all my USA shows. You know, they don't really... You know what? On Saturdays, they, to be honest, they don't okay, really put a lot of... Network tape. television, yeah. you're missing an entire... You're an audience for Saturday night. You'll well, have, like, with, D, with DVR, you can actually Sometimes put I, shit. I record the Lifetime movie on Saturday nights at 8 o'clock. Okay. Right. Uh, they kind of phoned it. They phoned it in on Saturdays. The Lifetime I mean, movies. Saturdays like where shows go to die. The Lifetime movies yeah. are like a choose your own adventure. Do you want to follow? Yeah, occasionally, occasionally, occasionally Family Guy will be on Saturday like 20 years ago when, uh, well, if you, they, seen the, you know, they were trying to kill it. Yeah. My, my wife will watch uh, Lifetime movies and they're like a choose your own adventure thing. So you like, do you want to follow a teenager or um, a divorce, like a woman in a bad marriage or like, you're like, I'll follow a teenager. Um, do you want her to be molested, abused or raped? I'll choose rape. <laughs> Was it by her boyfriend, her, her high school track coach, or her father. stepdad, or her father? <laughs> um, I'm gonna choose father. Now, is she gonna deal with abortion, or is she gonna? Deal- <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> then there's the ones with like the pastor did it or did the. Pastor did we do Sundays? Yes, yeah, we start with Sundays. We start with Sundays. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was Game of Thrones and. Yeah, but then there's stuff that's like not on right now, like like Dexter. I mean, obviously yeah. that's a Sunday show. Yeah, and show. Californication, you know, it ended, but you know. You know, it's a good one. Uh, Homeland was good. Yeah, that was pretty good actually. For a, a channel Sundays for are, women, actually, nothing like good the, happens to them. I think. <laughs> like that. Wait, what? For I a know, channel for women, like nothing good like, happens. Oh, I won the lottery, and this time I'm spending it. Yeah, like, yeah. This great. comedian who has a whole bit about it. he's like <laughs> Lifetime. He's like Lifetime. T- if it's Lifetime, if if TV women. Why do women always get beat on that network? <laughs> right. Look, he's, since, a, he's like, he's, he's like, because they next can't on, overcome it. Next on next, <laughs> next on Lifetime, a white a housewife gets beaten by a rod, starring Meredith Baxter Burney on a show called Rod. That's Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> Jim Gaffigan, yeah, he's real. Right, since he has much better delivery. Since you a Lifetime watch, original. Since you watch all the shows, like, what is your favorite night of the week for TV? Oh, I forgot that. Oh, okay, that's a good watch, actually. What What is like the best night of TV programming, like? Overall, throughout the whole year. That's hard. Um, I would say Sunday nights have... I, I, have I was going to say Sunday, too. Sunday nights yeah. are Because, you know, you got... First of all, for me, like, Californication and Game of Thrones, like, those two Game shows... Game of Thrones, Dexter, Home. Yeah, and Dexter. And like, all the watch, good... What's it on? Mad Ma- Men. What'd you watch on... Uh, Mad Men. Mad Men Sunday, too. Yeah, yeah I think Sunday... What's Sunday's the show was on after Californication? I actually watched that. That was, uh... Mm. About the, uh House of Lies. No, that's that's really bad. The other one, <laughs> the one that's on right after that. House of Lies does not sponsor this show. <laughs> House of Lies two. <laughs> um, House of with Truth the, with the poor family. They all they, they all, the, the bungalow dads, of lies. The dads are drunk. Oh right, uh, shameless. 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 That's shameless. a good show. I heard that. I heard that was. I like good. that show. It's I like heard. it's not great or anything. You know, it's fun I, to watch. I liked um, Strike Back. That was on Cinemax. I don't know that. Uh, uh, it's like UK, like almost like MI six. Like. Are there any vampires in it? You get no. Cinemax? Not interested. Yeah. You get, Wait, you get all the networks? You like the vampires? vampires? No, oh, I, I love Star, vampires. Star, Cinemax, HBO, They're so erotic. Showtime. You're the reason why oh, if, if, there's so if much you have HBO, you TV. can get HBO on demand. Just like Netflix, you can see all the episodes of I The know. Wire. No more TV talk. No, I, not, not The Wire. I have internet. Yeah, they have everything. No, no, not anything. HBO on demand. Arr. There's HBO to go. <laughs> Time H- Warner Cable wasn't supported. By oh, so. okay. I may know someone else who gave me their HBO to go account, so I don't even have HBO, but I can watch it. Thief. I'm jealous. <laughs> um, what's your top five favorite shows that air in a given t- in, a, in this given TV show? Currently running. What's your no, top five? Life. No, uh, you, got, no, no, no. You, you got your own questions. This is my question. What's your top five TV shows that air in this in a given TV season? So you can like Dexter, whatever's not whatever has been on, but it's not. I was gonna say top five shows on Wednesday at ten. Because <laughs> there are five. Yeah, <laughs> there really are. You watch a lot. No, I mean currently running as in they're still like you know they they've been aired this year. Yeah, they've they've aired in the last twelve months. You know what? I have to give I have to give a spot to Breaking Bad for sure. Okay. Um. I I bet she's gonna say like four really good ones and then say like circle of uh like circle med- circle circle, <laughs> circle, <laughs> circle, circle secret circle secret circle, <laughs> secret circle bukkake. No, it's it's not really, bukkake it's it's witches. you won't believe they have hardcore porn I think <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> WB hardcore porn they're actually also like they're underage kids yeah. I don't, CW no one noticed I don't know how I don't even know it's called it's called there CW only like, there are only like four people watching so no one <laughs> they have hardcore child porn on the CW. And at nine o'clock, I'm saying even though I know it's like forty shows, that's not all the shows I watch. That's just a sin. I, I was guessing that, Bart. Yeah. So, but what's your top five? So you have Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad's up there. Dexter. Dexter. Is up there. Yeah. Did you think the new season was good? I thought the new season was really bad. 
No, I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was top two of the whole series. Really? Top two of the, the whole, whole series? series? Yes. I wouldn't go no. top two. I thought I would, I, my list would John be... John Lithgow. Yeah. That was I number say, one. Yeah. No, I'd say the first... No, the first season was really... No, I'd say the that second season was number one. Then Lithgow. Then the first season. Which one was the second season? Second season Bay one. They, yeah, I love that season. Okay. But either Is that those, the one with Dokes? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, Dokes, that was the second season. Sorry those, if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it and it's four years old, then. He's still alive. What are the, hang on, what are the <laughs> chances? He's still alive. He's that, in every season two. Hang on, what are the chances that there's someone out there that A, hasn't seen it, B, wants to see it, and C, actually downloads the show and listens to the show? <laughs> yeah. That part really makes me wonder. Not at all. Yeah, it's almost like zilch. <laughs> okay. Well, so what was the joke? Uh, what was the odds of Mark making an Australian rugby joke, uh, and then we get an email from a guy who, in Australia who follows rugby closely? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that actually happened. This, Dude, this actually people, happened. Don't be angry. I've met. No, him. no, no. no he's a big like, fan of our Nick's podcast. He's a big fan. I, I've met. He's like, it's a coincidence you talked about Australian rugby because I mean, I'm Australian rugby. He's like, here's your podcast. I'm like, what? I, you know, when I was on vacation, like for some reason, Australians vacation like no one else. Mm-hmm. And I ran into some, and they're all into rugby. Like, the like rugby is like rugby's big there. Yeah, yeah, rugby is like you know our every I guess whatever Our sports we follow. Speaking of, I have to well, give a shout out to Dean if he's listening. Hi, Dean. <laughs> Dean loves you. He totally just randomly posted on my picture like a picture from like two years ago, and he was like, "I love you." Or something. I'm I was like, <laughs> "This like this was like it's today awesome. or yesterday." I'm gonna give a shout out also uh, a shout a shout out to the Pope. Um, in the Vatican, <laughs> if you're listening, well, I was chilling with him last um, week. <laughs> I just want to say, I, I I'm glad you recommended Breaking Bad to me. Anyhow, <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's so po- are popes allowed to watch TV? Um, <laughs> like, do popes like? I think they do, should. Do popes? Yeah. Do, I have a question. Do I don't want popes DVR. Okay, are you what kind of? You're Christian, but you're Catholic, or what are you? I'm not Catholic. Okay, I, I don't. Know. Protestant. Yes. Okay, See, so, so you, you, you don't believe in, you don't, you don't believe in the Pope then, or you do believe in the Pope? No, okay. we don't have the Pope. Okay, right. so anyhow, so anyhow, the Pope. I don't want to insult. <laughs> I don't want to tell anyone who's Catholic who believes in the Pope. Um, I believe he's a real person, so I believe in him. Um, <laughs> when they choose the Pope, why do they always choose a Pope who's ninety-seven years old? Because like everything, like, and, and when what, he takes like, the job, they have to be as white as humanly possible. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're always it's, like pale white, like you know. I don't. I mean, that that doesn't. You know, it's just weird. But the thing is, they pick a Pope. That's 97, he appears near death the day he accepts the job. <laughs> Why not pick someone who's like 30 who's going to be Pope for the next 60 years? Because like, they haven't like given enough to their faith. They have to like rise up. There's, Can't you just have like, a, like an Obama Pope? Like the guy that like, he's like really like well, smart Obama's, early enough. Okay, and, like, maybe they could have like a 50 year old Pope. They don't need like Yeah, I mean Obama's not 30. I mean he's 46 I mean, and doesn't or the, doesn't the I mean the Pope, like a kid genius. Like have like a nine year old make him Pope. Nothing's going to really change. I bet masturbation though is allowed. Well, and he's like, I want to have well, well, masturbation's I, totally cool, man. We're we're, we're well, allowing I, that now. I guess if you watch Game of Thrones, you can have like nine year old kings and shit, you know, or whatever. <laughs> is Game of Thrones really that good? I it's really, really like. Good. I really. I'm like reading it. the books right now. I'm on the first one. I finished the first book and it was really good, but uh, it's a little it's overwhelming. I think actually that's one of those sh- things that were. It's actually better if you actually watch the show. That's true. Because, like... There's, like, the, 50 oh, characters. Oh, actually better in the book. Yeah, no, well, no, 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 no. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying, like... No, it, it actually, it actually like, I think if you watch the show and then read the book, the book will be a lot better because oh, it's okay. really... Like, even the show is hard to keep track of. There's people. literally about 50 characters, so it's overwhelming right. when you're reading because the book. Because if you watch the show, you have a visual, like, you can see the people. But, like, in a book, it's very hard to, like, keep track was, of everyone. I was told it's kind of like the show is kind of like The Wire if The Wire had dragons. Is that like fair to say? Um, well, the dragons mm. haven't really become prominent yet. I bet like a, like mystical like creatures and like has like all the. There's not. not like they're like very that. minor part of the story. Oh, okay. So far. Yeah, it's not like. Wizards I feel like are... they're gonna come on at some point. <laughs> Maybe I only read the first book, but uh, okay. there's also an appendix of each character and where they, uh, you know, where they is relate the first... in the story. And I didn't find it until I finished the book. Do you know like does the first book correspond to the first that. season or something? Probably. Yeah. It like does. Some, yeah. Right. Yeah, I I know they're talking about season three because they just got renewed for season three, and they don't know if they want to split up the book because apparently the third book's like much longer right. than the other ones. They probably will. So we'll see. I feel like the one mm-hmm. complaint I have about that show is it moves slowly, but I guess they're going with the books, so you know. I haven't seen that show. But you guys, you can like ruin it for me. Right, right, right. So. No. Well, the, thing the first is like, book was eight hundred and oh. some, and that's the shortest book of the whole yeah. series. Really? Yeah. I'm so, reading it now. I'm just, I'm like fifty percent. I think. I think like I'll probably start reading the book now, like because I like you know maybe the first like I want to I want to watch it first and then read the book. It's I, good. I feel like you 
you realize more. Like you yeah. watch yourself. But there's so much like, more oh. stuff in the book, probably. Yeah. Do you watch the The Walking Dead? No. No. Do you watch? Do you? I get to watch see the Hunger Games. Tote saw it already. How was it? <laughs> Don owned Tote won. Tote. You read the books? Twice a piece. Twice. My wife read the first one. Said it was awesome. Actually. Because it was. Okay, can we talk about the hunger uh, the Hunger Games real quick? Yes. Yes. Hunger. It was written for twelve year olds, yet all adults are talking about it like it's uh, Shakespeare. <sighs> it's not Shakespeare. It's interesting. It's entertaining. First okay, all, but all... I mean, I like just because you know you're over thirty and you read a book, you know, doesn't mean you're like it's written for like everyone. Everyone knows, by the way, that the Hunger Games was a complete ripoff of a Japanese movie and book that was out ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's, the same she exact like story, she yeah. like I mean the the only question was either like either she like came up with this idea like the exact same idea on her own the author or she just saw that movie and decided to copy and hope no one knew about the first. There's actually three or four stories that all have been the same exact thing. Yeah, yeah. Do you know Battle Royale? What Battle Royale? No. It's a Japanese book and movie, the exact same movie basically. <laughs> mm, I don't know. It was good. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's all right. It's just, I don't know. Don't be proud of yourself because you read a book geared toward 14 years. I read olds. a book. <laughs> yeah. I, read, I read all four, three books. I read it was books. half the size of one Stephen King I book. I read books. That's true. But you know I read everything, Jay, so. No, no, no that's fine. Uh, like, I'm not saying you because you're, you're actually a reader. But some people are like, I read the whole trilogy, you know, all 300 pages of it. You know, it's like. What else did you read? Oh, no, that's it. That's yeah. all I read. <laughs> it, it took me four years, but I finished. No, they read that and they read Twi- Twilight. <laughs> yeah. I heard Hunger Games is better. It is. But I it's mean, it's not yeah. as sappy, like ridiculous. Okay, best People all-time five. best five shows from you. I can't. Did you? I didn't. Did you, did you, did you even finish your list? Baffling. All of time best shows. Five, yeah. You, all time yeah. best five I, I shows. I think that's a two. That's a good yeah. One. You just said. Uh, you said. That's a good uh, one. What was what was your list? You said. Uh, I said uh, so far. I said Breaking Bad and Dexter. What are the other three? Currently. You, don't, you don't have like a ranking on your on your Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> no, I just they're by day. They get a they're star color coded. They, <laughs> each day has a has like a, a sheet on my spreadsheet. They're like Lauren, your your Excel skills are much better here than they are at work. <laughs> Again, I have to say that. And then underneath are the shows that are not currently running. Top five shows ever are like it's that's a really hard one. Yeah, yeah, that's you don't almost have to break that down into category. Yeah, but like, like decade or but like to say right yeah. now top five shows. We did two straight more, episodes. Three of that. more to go. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, I mean it's kind of no, no. Though. The ones that she watches right now. Oh, you top, top five right now this year. Yeah, top five. I mean, last, I mean that's last twenty twelve. That's months. manageable. It's still hard. It's still hard. Um... So I could totally do this thing. If you do comedy, then versus... you do it. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, comedy or drama? Which one do you want to hear? No, no, you, no. you don't get a break That's down. Not, like you didn't that ask either. the question. Well, no, I'll, I'll let you break it down. You can't change your no, no, own no, no, question. No, you get five. Okay, yeah. I'll still I'll choose the dramas. Um, I'll okay. choose. Uh... <laughs> this is your top five of all. Okay, of I'll, I'll, I'll be slid. I'll saw. It's fine. I even put them in order because make Jay happy. Um, <laughs> the start wire, from, the start wires, from five. The wires. Though. Shut the hell. Is the Wire's the greatest yeah, show said, ever. No, you said on right no, now. No, on right now. The last 12 months. Oh, last 12 months? Okay. No, the Wire... Which, the wire which, which category am I doing? The one you gave me. The, yeah, the oh, same one you asked okay. 30 last seconds wire, ago. <laughs> when The Wire ended? I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> I never... I mean, I only saw the... Like, <laughs> only five years ago. That's right. Oh, really? What's even yeah. on? I watch. Um, I guess I watch... Um, Homeland was really good. Yeah. Um, Louie. Like, uh, These are top five in the last 12 months. Yeah. In order? Um, From five to one, I'm assuming he's going. <laughs> I haven't had to think of them all. Um, yeah, see, it's not, not so as easy. easy to do a spontaneous Well, I don't have an Excel either. spreadsheet either. Yeah. <laughs> They're not in order. They're just there for my DVR purposes. Um, I can, well, maybe we can not, do like, it. In the last maybe 12 months, it's not like that great. I guess American Horror I put up there. Oh, yeah. Um, I put up... Uh, what else have I really liked that I've watched? All right. That was a good top five. Yeah, well... <laughs> Yeah, else, I, I think you need to like think about it. What else is even on? What else is on that I watch regularly? I don't know. Dexter. Oh, Breaking Bad and Mad Men. Okay, Breaking Bad number one, Mad Men number two. Yeah, Mad Men would be my favorite. Uh, I really I'd say show. Louis three. What are the other two I said? Dexter and Californication. No, I don't like that. No, those those two aren't that good. Dexter's really Dexter's good. awesome. Dexter, yeah. this was I thought a really bad, a really weak season at best. The uh, whole yeah. like. You're oh, wrong. Well, you know, okay, you know first what? of all, you, you know, know what? The best part of De- you know, Dexter season was. 
the um the, the writer said, "Hey, I saw that movie Fight Club. You want to make the bad I, guy?" No, I, I was gonna say the same <laughs> the exact Fight thing. Club shit was ridiculous. Spoiler, spoiler, I, I saw spoiler, that spoiler, coming. Spoiler. Yeah, I saw that coming two episodes before it happened. Like, like was it? Was Matt it... told me from a forum. Matt told me like two episodes in. Or no, three I, episodes. I, I, I was like, "You fool!" You know, look, 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 I didn't. I didn't know any of that. Like, I was just watching it, and I knew two episodes before. I'm like. Did you, I ever, saw it coming. you ever look up on the books what they said the books about Dexter like how they differ from the show it's like yeah. complete well you, you know how he has that they um the dark passenger darkly dreaming so the dark passenger is actually an alien in the book it's a book yeah, did Michael yeah, Bay yeah, write it's it books. it's a book it's based on books oh really books. Yeah. well I heard the first season is uh Pretty close, and then they completely deviate after. Well, that. the dark passenger is either like a oh, it's like a mythical creature that lives in him or something like that. Really? Yeah, like they have like this all this like mystical stuff that comes about. Oh it's wow! Weird. Yeah, if you look on the Wikipedia page, you can read it up. I think there's that. only like three Dexter books though. But I, I like the fact that they didn't go like totally supernatural. I hate yeah. when the shows like they're like I can't think of the reason behind any of this, and we're just gonna make up. Yeah, things. that's such a cop. Well, there was like, like I feel like Lost did that. Like they just kind of like made up Lost. things. That was a good show. I didn't like it. I didn't, yeah. I don't know. I feel like at the end they were just making shit up to just kind of... The and last, and the in the middle episode, and in the beginning. The last episode of Lost was... Well, beginning uh, they didn't make giant... up because they didn't explain anything. Yeah, the last episode of Lost was like a giant kick in the balls so everyone <laughs> watched the show. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't make it past like the third season. I didn't get it. I was like, what's going on? I, it was like uh, they were basically playing Roshan Bowl. I remember you like you guys were watching like the third or fourth <laughs> season... Um, and I could not stay awake. Like I just keep falling asleep. I really like remember. Lost for the first few seasons. I really yeah. like. Yeah, that's that's. I saw they it like had one shitty season, and then the rest were like okay, they did. The okay. season where they're locked in a cage for like nine straight is episodes. Season, is, I, is that the season I fell asleep and never watched again? Yeah, I think so. Are you guys? Are you guys all twenty four fans? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I love that show. I'd say the first season of twenty four is one of the best single seasons of a show. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, I'm not saying I I'm not putting it in the rankings, but I'm saying it's one of the best ever. It's really good. Yeah. That was such a great first season. They had like a couple more really good seasons. There were a couple of bad seasons. Nothing like the first one. The first one, yeah. 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 The first one was really awesome. I really liked season seven. Just throwing that out there. That was the last one. No, second to last. That one. was the only one I didn't see. There actually. were eight seasons of that? Yeah. yeah. Second to last. I always thought really bad when I was six. Yeah. Six was really bad. You know what? I, that's why I didn't watch seven. I always thought they should do 24, 24 the next day. Where like he's sitting and like eating breakfast and he's just that shitting was... all day. Like... Yeah. He's like he's like, um I gotta Could you up. pass the coffee? That was crazy how everyone in CTI died yesterday. Yeah, I know. Um can I get some sugar for that? That'd be awesome. <laughs> you know what's cool? The fact that oh! I don't have to wear diapers today. <laughs> reading the reading the like Yeah. I was like, wasn't he in China? I'm like that would take like twelve hours just to get to China. Yeah, like reading the newspaper and be like, Wow, remember yesterday when LA blew up? Yeah, that was kinda crazy. Um, they don't even have a story about this in the newspaper. <laughs> Remember when they set off a bio, you know, bio attack on New York City? <laughs> They're actually making a movie of that. Um, that was crazy. I guess they had the president turned out to be a traitor. Remember when they oh, shot? I'm gonna watch it with I Love Lucy's on. <laughs> How are they going to do the movie? It's going to be like 100 minutes instead of 24 hours? Probably. And they did a, they did a remember for the seventh season though, they saw they had like a prequel where they had like a, like a two hour movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, well, they, you can actually have... Because, because it's always just real time basically. So 100 mm-hmm. minutes of real time. Yeah, because it's 24 hours. So I mean, you can... I mean, it's... Have you guys seen the movie Nick? It's Nic- less... I mean, it's much more than a movie's length. So. Have you guys seen the movie Naked Time? Oh. Naked Time? <laughs> yes, it's on the Mofos Network. Uh, is that the one with Johnny It's Depp? actually, it airs, at, it airs at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays on CW. <laughs> Again, hardcore porn, no one knows. No one watches <laughs> no, no, CW. No one watches CW, so. Nick of Time, is that the Johnny Depp one? Yes. yes. Johnny Depp was in a movie before 24 ever came out. It was um, set, it was like 90 minutes. He had, like, his daughter was kidnapped, and he had to, like, shoot. Did the bus have to go 55 miles an hour? No, he had to, <laughs> he was told he has to shoot, like, a congressman or something like that. And, and he has like ninety minutes of that, like the, like the, like, or can else they're believe, gonna kill his daughter. Can you believe and it was, was like it was like twenty four basically? Can you like, believe there was a speed two? I mean, that was like on a boat. Yeah, that was like the stupidest <laughs> thing. I mean, speed one was all right. I mean, it you was know what would be good though? Speed like do speed three on a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> if this doesn't make insane five miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can just get out. No, no, no. It's going to blow up. I can just like, no, you don't need to like rescue me. I'll just get out. I, yeah, I just push I it. don't need to jump. I, I can just get out and push the golf cart. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll leave a, I'll leave, you here, I'll leave a rock on the gas pedal. I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. I'll just get out. I don't, I don't need any rescuing. No, if I, you don't even need the FBI. I'll just get out. Speed four is on a Segway. 
<laughs> Speed fives on a merry-go-round. You actually start like running with it on the side and just start going like ten miles an hour and then just push it into like the Speed Six is on those wheelie sneakers. <laughs> Roller blades. <laughs> I don't see kids on those anymore. Did a couple of kids crack their skulls? Yeah, so, the roller. The people still roll them. Uh, no, 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 no. Remember no, no, those the sneakers, sneakers, sneakers with the those wheels in the heels? Like, they would no, roll them around the mall and want to smack them. In they the make heads. perfect sense. Yeah. You're like, hey, let's walk that next door. No, I can go slightly faster. No, on but wheels. seriously, I haven't seen someone <laughs> rollerblade like recently. Yeah. Because like you know, because now you can just be openly gay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to pick up guys that way. You, yeah. just, you, know, you, don't, you don't need the <laughs> you don't need the subtleties. Like, oh, he's got rollerblades. I can hit on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, yeah. we're done. It's pretty. It's, it's, <laughs> we're 16 minutes to go for a full yeah, line. It's, we've it's been good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we had someone. Lauren, thank you for your TV. <laughs> You're this so was welcome. like this was a Lauren centric show. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. We gotta stop well, talking. the whole other show is this <laughs> yeah. like man, uh, wah, wah. man grunt say things. <laughs> yeah, the last episode was like, yeah, Rrr, video games. Yeah. Next episode will be me telling you all about the shows that I forgot on this episode. Stay sorry, tuned, Lauren. You have to bring your female friends and um, even the ratio. Well, what? the first thing I thought about when you said like let's talk about female stuff is let me tell you about what my friend Maria told me last week. There is this thing called a diva cup. Have you ever heard of a diva cup? No. No. I have neither. But apparently, instead of a tampon during your period, oh, gross. you put um, up a hang diva on, hang cup. On, hang on. No, 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 wait. I want to hear pause this. Pause this so I can cry. <laughs> gross. No, I'm just saying. Wait, you put a whole cup? There's like, it's a sh- feminine shaped cup. And instead, I'm like, do you just pull it out and it's a cup of blood? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, that's disgusting. And what's it this? for me? I'm I'm the guest. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm in, I'm intrigued. Oh, what is this cup? Made Jay, out I'm of? intrigued. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're putting a cup up there. That's, that's, uh... that's that's fascinating to you. Maybe? You don't have like 17 questions immediately. It's like two girls I have no questions what? immediately. I have actually my first question. Why did you tell me that? My second question, follow-up question. Why would you tell me that? <laughs> My the third question is, is why would you tell me that? <laughs> I had Again, to this, I, I had to punch you in the face with something very that is girly awful. and gross. And all I keep thinking about is that show True Blood now. You know I'm thinking like that was the answer to True Blood. We talked about Bukaki. I brought up Bukaki and now you can listen about period blood. The end. Wait, okay. is it like a like, shot glass? I have no idea. And I don't want to I don't to know. understand how this works. I think we have to look it up later. It's, Diva Cup. It's like one girl, one cup. Yes. One girl, one diva cup. Next on the worst porn F and a pint <laughs> of blood. Next. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't even oh, get can it. Can I ask works. you a question that someone asked me last night and I couldn't answer it? No. Okay. Yes. Would you rather, <laughs> Why did you ask me? <laughs> would you rather take a shot of period blood or eat a bite of poo, and it's not yours? What did the person eat oh, the day before? Oh, because if it was mine, it'd be totally cool. <laughs> I know what I was saying. My own poo, I already do that. I'm always like, what does this potato need? I already have sour cream on there. My poo. I'll my poo. <laughs> I need an answer. I, I, That's like one of the hardest questions of all time. Exactly. What, what did the person eat the day before? Does, you don't know. I don't know, huh? It's a mystery you can poo. You have a shot of period blood or a bite of poo. And it's a healthy bite. It's like a spoonful. Like it's, a spoonful. I didn't see this episode. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a serious question. It must be answered. Um, I think we're actually not going to answer that question because it's it's completely there's no situation where that ever come, come up where you're like that was the choice I had to make. It could. What if uh, somebody breaks into your house and they're insane and they happen to have both things handy? <laughs> of course, because they would. Gun to your head. Gun to your head. What do you choose? I'm doing the shot. Um, okay. I'm, I don't that's what the guy. Yeah, that's what the other guy said. I mean, would you rather take a shot of? Hang on, hang on. This is what we're going to ask. Like, don't tell. Don't say it. Okay, a shot of period blood or a shot of high C. Why did I come back? <laughs> Not at all. Obviously, you don't choose a high C. High C is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Would you that, rather take a shot of period blood or a, or a big bite of poo? But it's not your own poo. Your, your own poo. poo, obviously, you eat your own poo. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. I guess I would have to like, the blood. I mean. Okay. You're the um, only one who hasn't answered that. I'm not going to ask the question. <laughs> oh, come on. You were so talkative before. I know. Now I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'd go with high C. That was like the Simps- <laughs> there was a Simpsons episode where oh Homer, yeah yeah the, Homer, the beet juice. Homer went to New York. Crab He's like, would you like dip. some Mountain Dew or or whatever the or, other the or crab, crab juice? juice. Think, like, oh, yeah, oh, crab, crab juice. juice. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was pretty funny. Very disappointed in you, Which Mark. Which one is Pepsi marketing? <laughs> <laughs> the period block. The period block, okay. And Coke is the poo. Do I, okay, I have some questions. So I, do I know the, the poo? Do I know the period? I took a bathroom break no. thinking that this conversation would be better, but it's actually a This lot is worse. the worst <laughs> part of the podcast. <laughs> this is actually worse. This is the worst thing that's ever been on the show. No one's interested in this yeah, let's question. Get it. I'm very interested. Everyone I need else. Rum, that's, I, that's like those people like, would you rather have sex with um, a zombie or a couch? That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> I'm out of alcohol and I hate this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather? At least you answer. Would you rather have your right ball cut off or your left ball cut off? <laughs> well, which one? Would you rather be raped by a horse or raped by a gorilla? <laughs> well, which one? <laughs> these are very like these are valid questions. Would you rather uh, have sex with a horse or see Roseanne naked? <laughs> oh wow. That's a, good, that's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Would you rather keep coming up with questions or answer the one I posed Let's to be, you? Uh, I'm not going to answer the one you posed to me. That's a ridiculous <laughs> question. I, I'll, I'll... Okay. Mark would have chose poo. I would have chosen my poo. I'm only going to eat my poo. I'm not going to like break... I know the taste of my poo. I like that better. Oh, that's disgusting. Everything else you said wasn't yeah, no, this <laughs> that, that, that was disgusting. She's like, oh, God, that's disgusting. That is pretty gross. That's pretty gross. Yeah. You know what your poo tastes like. That saddens me. Moving on. Moving on. I think the doc ran away. Never to return. Okay. We're done. I mean, I, 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 I made the conscious decision to never download Break of Sanity again when we started talking about poo and vagina blood. <laughs> <laughs> that was really the end of anything I ever wanted to hear. Okay. Well, thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for um, still listening if you're still listening. But you're just listening. remember, you can't undownload it. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'll give an F, Mary kill. That's also I bet bad. you're not listening still. F, F Mary kill. Okay. Um, I like that band. Okay. Um, oh, that's uh, Seven, Mary, Three. Okay, so Smurfette, <laughs> um, Jessica Rabbit, and uh, this is like a nice one. Jessica Rabbit and... It's Mi- a nice fuck, Mary kill. <laughs> and Minnie Mouse. Um... Okay. Really? Yeah, answer it. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, what, what were the choices? Minnie Mouse, Smurfette, and <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. You marry Jessica Rabbit. You fuck uh, Smurfette just to see what happens, and you kill Minnie Mouse. <laughs> okay, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> just to see. I bet you uh, Smurfette okay, would explode. I think. That's, that's, I think. <laughs> <laughs> be like a hamster you have to wrap duct tape around <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we get our shot of vagina blood if you want to leave a voicemail 631-676-1181 and uh, we'll be back if you've listened to both soon. these episodes congratulations yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the voicemail can't reference the last 20 minutes because oh, <laughs> that, that was really nice. that just didn't happen alright we're really done yes okay I'm playing the goodbye song goodbye, goodbye. everybody goodbye goodbye, goodbye. 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 Bye, bye, love. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. It's all over. Goodbye. It's time to go. This is the end. Say goodbye. You better go away. I'm gonna leave.